Hello! Good evening, Twin Minds here. We are we're doing more Nami Factory, and um it shit's getting out of control. Um Pine, how are we gonna tackle this? Well, I'll tell you how. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, okay. Um so we did we did stuff over the weekend like we said we were gonna. You you did some uh, troubleshooting on the new factory line, which appears to be chewing things correctly. At I don't know, I just tried to load in and I got a crash. Oh, well, <laughs> all right then. I don't know. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Well, then I'll continue going over stuff while you relaunch. Um, what the hell? So, uh, yeah, so last time we did the uh, the big-ass ore processing line, which does appear to be working correctly. I see things blinking and moving. Uh, looks like, Pine, you had added the autoclave chamber to process some of the crystals from their powdered form so we can get some more gemstone things. Uh, yeah, it, it appears to be moving. Uh, it still looks like the packagers are hang up spot, but it's going. And then up here, Pine has added this lovely bugger, a, a huge array of assembly lines. Which is looking mighty fine. And then over here, I did work on the Draconic Infusion thing. And I expanded the hell out of it. So uh, we'll, we'll go over that later. Is that all we did? I mean, that's not, not like that's not a lot, but still. Maybe. I seem to have a slight echo, and I'm not sure where. Uh, do you happen to have left it's... my channel up? No. Sparkle says she doesn't hear it, but I hear it in my headphones. Hmm. Curious. Are you monitoring yourself? No, all my, I just checked. All the monitors are off. Interesting. Also, hi, Sparkle. That's working, that's working. Everything's everything's good for the moment. Alright. Echo, echo, echo. Uh, let's see. Oh, right, another problem I solved. Um, we were running out of steel. Um so here, let me go let me go over here. Duh. Um so I started tearing down the L V wall, because it was old and outdated and not handling anything we needed it to handle. Um, so I started tearing it down and anything that needed to be replaced I replaced with IV machines which can handle a little bit faster and uh, it's a little bit cleaner now than it was before. Um, still haven't finished all of it. Just a couple things I still need to do. But um, these three machines here are for handling steel. Because as I was doing this whole process we ran out of steel. We had zero. Um, partly because of uh, the first couple machines in here, uh, yeah, one, one, one of these one of these machines was doing um, there we go, uh, dark steel, and it was it was eating all of the steel. I think there's a couple others in here that needed steel as well, um, and since it was sped up and able to go quickly, it was eating all the steel. But now it's done, and I do believe our dark steel bar. Somewhere in here. It's probably full, wherever it happens to be. This one? Yeah, this one. Um, it's got 512 stacks of blocks of dark steel. So we have almost 300,000 dark steel backed up and ready to go. We were starting to run a little bit low on that one. Um, same with electrical steel. So a lot of the alloys that had been running had been running under LV this entire time, and quite frankly, shocking that they didn't run out. Um, so now they're all on IV. And in theory, with how long we lasted on LV, um, chances are that this is going to last us the rest of the pack for our metal needs. Yes, Kitty? What? What? He's just yelling. He's just, just, just yelling. Um, this whole thing here is a, uh, this whole top section out into here, I think. Eh, this is not working. Port Sands, Port Sands, 
They must not have set this one up right. Let's take a peek. Import, court stands, keep exact. Item filter, yeah. Quartz, court sands. We have none in the network. We have a bunch here. Uh, oh, right, I need to remove that. There we go. Uh, what, what is wrong with you? Why are you not working? That would be why you're not working. That'd be one of many reasons you're not working. Quartzite dust. So it looks kind of like we don't have an intake of quartz sands to go into the network. So let me uh, let me do that. Yeah, we don't, we don't have one. Not at all. Uh, drawer. Drawer. Alright, we need you. Oh. Oh, the keys. Why don't we have keys? Because I have one in my friggin' hand. That's why we don't have keys. Jesus. Alright. So then, we take, we take you. And we slap a you there. Now that's going to start dumping out of here, and then going to st start dumping into there, so we can start getting the quartzite dust and the certus quartz dust, which can then go into here to make certus quartz. Now granted, we were not exactly hurting on certus quartz, but at some point we might have noticed that this stopped working when we ran out of certus quartz. So, uh, this quartzite is being dumped into here, because we have way too damn much of it, and we're never going to need that much. Um, and the only thing quartzite is good for is, I believe, an alternate for nether quartz, which we are also getting right here. So, chances are we can void all that and not worry about it. But I need the quartzite dust, which is an occasional output. Uh, let's see. You probably need to be sped up. Probably by just a little bit. How are you guys doing? Yeah, I probably could all use the speed up. There we go. And you get a speed. 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 Oh, I didn't do any of these. Uh, and now that I think about it, these probably aren't done either. But they, they handled themselves just fine, so this is all probably unnecessary. Uh, you get a speed. Alright, you're still suffering on pulsating dust. Okay, so that's a problem because I uh, may have tapped into this. Uh, but you're getting everything you need to get. So this is set up to take the pulsating dust out of here and put it into this drawer, which is attached to the network. And this is set to keep the priority of pulsating dust. So this has got a, high, a higher priority than this drawer. So it always makes sure this is full before throwing it into the network to be used for other purposes. Granted, this is not the best setup for that. And I probably should make a duplicate just for the creation of the uh, the pulsating iron that's going on here. Because it does not have any pulsating dust to work with, so it's running purely on whatever can come out of that machine. Um, so, not not terribly much. But, we have 250-something thousand pulsating iron ingots, so chances are we're fine. And uh, chances are we don't actually need uh, any more than that. Because this isn't really used too heavily. We have pulsating crystals, I think, about the only thing that we create out of it. And the pulsating iron gears, which I don't think have that much purpose. So, we're fine for the moment. Um, yeah. You, uh, you still struggling over there? Constantly. Oh, okay. Yeah, 
I, I, sh I closed down my pack and then I was chasing down the uh, the echo and then I should have been relaunching the pack while doing that <laughs> and I didn't so did you fix the echo though yes what was it uh, it was the microphone on my new and improved Gertie cam ah, picking me up okay yeah so we fixed that good good What are you do oh, that's right. You are doing wrought iron still on LV. Did I do a wrought iron smelter, 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 regular old smelters? No, I did not. So we need to tack on that over there. I mean, we've got a wrought iron. Uh, again, we've run the entire friggin' pack on what is basically one wrought iron cooker, so it's probably fine. But, um, did I not? Oh, right, it's not smelter. Furnace. Furnace. Well, we'll go ahead and set this up, because uh, I don't want to be responsible for murdering our pack at some point. Okay, so, uh, you need... Zappa dappa. Yeah. Hmm. For right now, we will connect up this way. Okay, so you need iron. And you need grabby do. And you need screwdriver. Filter. Keep exact. Iron. Iron. Import. Oh, that's right. Auto out doesn't work. We need to grab from here. You can have the last of those. There we go. Ah, right. And the okay. There we go. That means you can go. Clean up. Uh, that needs to that needs to stay because that's still handling up there. All right, probably need to do that one next because um, yeah, I don't even know what this is necessary anymore. Have it on the network, but I don't know if that tank is being used anywhere. Uh, that might be a question for Fine, because I'm pretty sure he set that up and has been using it. Okay. <laughs> it's so quiet over here. I just took it down. All this is just dead space. Uh, this whole section here, which is also surprisingly quiet now that I think about it, um, this whole section is all about dusts. Um, either grinding down dusts, mostly happening over here, um, and mixing up dust for alloys, like this one is uh, blue steel, rose gold, etc. Um, these are meeting our needs for right now, so I don't think it's critical that we replace them, but at some point, I did want to replace them. Oh. Why am I inside of here? Uh, go that way. Um, do plan on replacing them with uh, mixers. Like this like this guy right here. Because they can handle multiple recipes and they can do it much, much quicker. 
Um, but uh, as, a, as you can see here, I set up the the barest starting point for these, but I don't know how many we need. I don't know how many we want to replace. Um, as I said, it's quiet over there, so they're not running constantly. But at some point, we're probably going to want to. Uh, and the biggest biggest need for that tends to be things like... Um, I, don't, I, I don't think I can point at any of them specifically, but things like um, HSS... Uh, HSS, S, G, and E all like rely on each other to make them. So if we look at uh, HSS G dust, which is made from tungsten, steel, chrome, molybdenum, right. and vanadium. What are we doing? Oh, I'm just going over all the various crap that we've, we've done and possible plans. Went over the, the LV wall replacement and the possible plans for the the dust mixing mixing over at the end of the 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 new ore chain. But I I went over all the stuff I did, so you go over the stuff you did. Uh, I was troubleshooting the line. Indeed. And I made other other kinds of lines. You made you made more lines. So yeah. many lines. <clears throat> yeah, these these took about two hours to make all the bits for. I am not shocked. I had to keep waiting for like graphene to be made. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's one of those several dusts that's not yeah. done very well right and now. And I was like, man, I'm glad I did this early because fighting twin for the resources and stuff <laughs> that would have taken literally all stream to make ten machines. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. So, but yeah, they're not plugged in or configured or anything yet. Sure, but they're they're laid out. They are laid out, and they so will the be uh, UV. Okay. Okay. So. Oh, um. So yeah, I don't know how much you plan on doing today for stuff, but uh, tackling that dust problem and our excess availability or lack thereof of many resources. As a thing I'd like to take care of at some point or another. Things like having to wait on graphene to cook instead of having 50,000 to craft with. That kind of thing. Um, so I did yeah. some of that with the LV wall. The LV wall has now topped up all of our alloys that were slowly draining. Um, the fact that we lasted up until this point on an LV wall for a lot of those alloys is remarkable. Sure, But yeah. uh, now they are IV and theoretically could last us the rest of the pack based on the relative low usage of some of those early tier alloys. But well, otherwise, we get a lot of dusts and stuff that are crafted up to a whopping 64. Um, almost, I mean, yeah, yeah. almost certainly. Um, yeah, so I guess it it, uh, it depends how much work you want to put into the, the dust mixing. Because, like... Um, I know you want to push for infinite liquids i know just, i know you want to do it but we're not push for it it's that do you want to take the time to like make sure that we can make all the energetic alloy dust and vibrant alloy dust and all that etc i mean when no, in three three or four streams we're gonna have we're dozens of hours away from that dude yeah dozens of hours <laughs> a, a dozen hours is two streams so <laughs> just saying yeah so Dozens of hours is several streams, of which are spread across multiple weeks, which will be spread across multiple hours of waiting for resources to craft. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> like, it may seem like it's close, but it ain't. So, uh, I, I feel like I feel like some of those things could be tackled. Yeah. I mean, unless you have a plan with a timeline available for, for getting to that infinite liquids, and... Then the question is, can we make infinite of the infinite liquids immediately, or will we have to wait forever to make up the next one? You mean, like, how quickly can we make creative tanks from there? Yes. Uh, so, from what I've seen in the, the recipe, so we get a heart of the universe from a tier 10 miner. Yeah. We put that through, I think it's an extractor, and yeah. it gives us the creative tank mold. Yeah. And then we have to build a special 3x3 machine that that mold goes into. 
and then we just feed it buckets and it gives us creative tanks out and the mold isn't consumed just like all the other extruder molds okay so it does not get consumed so we can then make infinite quantum tanks immediately oh uh, well yeah every 25 seconds or well, so but sure. yeah but yeah all right especially if the first quantum tank we make is iron <laughs> then we can make infinite buckets well then let's but, do that tonight Fuck I'm, it. Just saying, I'm just yeah i mean we certainly can i i have all of the uh all of the advanced microverses automated up until that point. What's it going to take to get us a uh, awakened draconium? Uh, awakened draconium, we could Easy. do now. Yeah. Um. Okay, so the the difficult bit right now, besides our extreme lack of phosphorus and power. Well, okay, so the power was the first thing I was going to tackle. <laughs> right. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a tier 7 ball draconic orb up there because we can do that without the awakened draconium. Okay. And that stores the like 2.2 trillion RF. You gonna you gonna automate the creation of that ball? Because we I mean, need those for each 10 uh, tier 10 micro. No, that's the, that's the reactor core. That's different. Oh, right, the energy ball thing. Yeah. That's uh, I don't remember what that is actually. The energy core. Energy core. So that just is going to require draconic uh, blocks of draconic, whatever, draconium, and redstone blocks for just the tier 7. Okay. And that holds 2.2 trillion RF, which will be fine for right now, but once we get the creative tanks, then we can get the okay. infinite draconium and then upgrade that to the tier 8 later. But seeing as when you were doing your test on this thing earlier... Your, uh, it do good. Your infusion hallway. It does good, but it caps our power. Oh, it sure does. Be, if we're also going to be chooching these things, so or motors and whatnot. I would like to point out that your ball is only part of the solution, because that's literally just a big ass battery. Yes. So it's just going to increase our ability to run a bunch of stuff at one time and drain it faster. Yep. So. <laughs> no, that's fine. So like in the moments like right now where we could when we could be charging the battery. <laughs> right. So, yeah, that's why that's the first, that's what I want to... Well, let me finish making this thing then, exactly and I'll put in other recipes for things like the Awakened Draconium, so we can request those when we need it. Because uh, ultimately, we need stuff like the Awakened Core for, like, the reactor, if we're ever going to do that. Um, I thought we needed the Awakened Core for something else. Yeah, uh, so yeah, my, my plan for the night was to do this ball, configure the assembly lines, and then maybe get uh, the multi-blocks for like the circuit assemblers up and running so we can start making circuits and things faster. Okay, okay. That's what I was uh, thinking about. Okay. Well, I'm going to keep working on my Draconic thing until it's usable but yeah and I'm gonna I'm gonna eat all our power <laughs> okay I mean I literally just have to request one thing and I eat all of our power so it doesn't take much effort True. so yeah this is the thing I made I'm gonna finish it off and then we're gonna put all the recipes in and make sure it does stuff um, so We'll, we'll go over how this thing is built and how it works. Because I, I, it took me a long time to figure out how to do this in a reasonable way that looks cool. Um, which is why I did it off stream. Um, but I left the last bit of it so we can do the rest of it on stream and then make it... Make it part of canon, <laughs> I guess. Alright, so I'm going to need a few things. Let me dump off some of my other uh, automation crap. I don't have purple lasers, I'm sad. All I got is green lasers. Otherwise I would absolutely turn them purple. Okay, so we need 
bunch of these. I got 20 of them. Um, we'll set up these ones and then we'll request the next batch so you can see what that looks like. Uh, any lasers? Oh shit, I don't have any lasers. Where do my lasers go? Oh, he ate all my lasers. Right, because he set up all that. Right. Okay, plenty more lasers. Uh, let's do stacks of lasers. I forgot I had a stack of lasers in there and I'm sure he used all of them because I think each one of these is 15 long. And that means 15 lasers. So, he probably had to make quite a few stacks on his own. Yeah, so the infinite fluid thing um, is like the first step towards the end of this pack. But it's it's like the first baby step towards the end of this pack. Um, infinite fluids will let us do things like infinite ingots. So we don't have to do any ingot mashing anymore. Um but I don't know what else is required to get to the end. So if we take a look at progression, um, that's not even, it's not even on this list of how to progress this pack. These three are on this list. So we need the, the tier eight, nine, and 10 micro miners. We need the tier 10 micro miner to even get the infinite creative fluid thing. Um, so to get the infinite creative fluid thing, I suppose we're probably an end game for that. Um, so that's right here. This is essentially the beginning, um, which requires the quantum take data, which requires the heart of a universe, which requires the tier 10 microminer and blocks of awakened draconium. A tier 10 microminer requires a universal navigator, um, UHV circuits, knockout alloy plates, neural processing units, all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, draconic reactor core. So this is another thing that I've got to set in my automation. Uh, for this this run here, so that's another recipe I need to do. Same with this one. So yeah, we got the, we got the few steps ahead of us before we can even start that. Uh, and then after creative fluids, uh, we do the simulation supercomputer, which is mostly not needed, amazingly enough, because um, the simulation supercomputer just does bigger and better version of all of the DML stuff that Pine's got set up here. And with the quantity of these that we've got set up, we probably don't need it unless it's got like specific recipes that are needed for it, which I don't think so. Uh, simulation supercomputer. It does look fancy. Um, yeah, it's the same 30% output for all the pristine matters, but it can handle them in fractions of a second. Uh, I think it's like, I don't know, 15, 7 and a half, 375, 325, 375, yeah, whatever. A short period of time is what I'm getting at. And all of these appear to do exactly what the previous ones were doing, so it doesn't give us any benefit other than to let us potentially slim down this process here, which isn't necessary. So that's, that's the thing we'll probably make the core of and then not use. Uh, then we need the Infinity Catalyst, uh, which is made out of piles of neutrons. Another heart of the universe, chaotic core. Pile of neutrons is neutronium nuggets, which we can get from a tier nine microminer, I believe. So this shouldn't be difficult. The moats are a little bit difficult. Um, these gears, I'll need to make sure that I've got my gear process set up for those. Ultimate material, we're going to need more of these. Cool. Oh yeah, yeah, there's a lot of auto crafting in that. Quite a lot of painful auto crafting in that actually, but we should be able to automate it without a problem. Uh, and then comes creative RF, so we have creative energy. And then the infinity ingot, we need to make a set of infinity armor. And then the creative chest, which lets us have infinite specific items. Put item in, get infinite of that item out, that kind of thing. Um, so then we win. Congratulations, we win. Um, so yeah, the goal is to make everything creative. We're, we're being creative in how to get to that goal as well. Um, okay, so I need these. I need to go with my laser making. <laughs> Laser. 
laser again, please. See? It's broken. And I don't know why it's broken. Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. It's requesting a bunch of shit. I was planning on, uh... uh Alright, I got crafting recipes for, like, all those weird little batteries that go up to that wyvern energy core put in. Alright, good, good. I think we're going to need a bunch of those. Okay, I think that's that. I don't know why it's broken, I don't know how to fix it. But, that's fine. Oh god, more things getting requested. Stop! Oh, and I also <laughs> put travel anchors in the new building. All the way up and down. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh. Okay, more lasers. More lasers. She is a clicking. Oh. Why do I have these in my pocket? I don't know why I have those in my pocket. She clicked once. That's all I needed. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was standing over by the Actual Editions laser dropper thing uh, when you started requesting stuff, and I was I was trying to make the I, the laser relays. Oh. And I just happened to be crouching to prevent grabbing all those items at the time, but then I had to slowly back away <laughs> to prevent it. <laughs> One thing I noticed with that while I was setting up all of these, because I had to make a whole bunch of those lasers. Yeah, that's broken. It, uh, yeah. Yeah. And I, I don't, don't know. know how to, I don't know how to fix it. It's not that it's broken. It's that the first, so like it has to laser those item things twice. Yeah. And the yeah. first lasering kicks it out of range of the second laser. I know. I know. And I, it <laughs> does it consistently, like a hundred percent of the time, and I haven't been able to figure out how to fix it. Yeah. So that's that was a little weird. Yeah. <laughs> I do not know how to fix that one. Um, okay. I I've been trying to think through ideas. I don't think I can fix it in the in the compactness that it's at right now. Mm -hmm. But I might, I might be able to uncompact it slightly and fix it. But okay, I, I don't know if it's worth fixing unless we need a zillion more lasers. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we might. Okay. If we need more assembly lines, or if we want more assembly lines. True. All right. Uh, I guess we'll have to see how this all ends up working for us. Okay. Well, let me let me know. I'll I'll keep thinking on it. Yeah. So yeah, this is my uh this is oops. Give give. Um This is my uh my setup. There are many like it, but this one is mine. All right. Let me come under here. Laser. Well, I hear it going. I still wish these spun vertically because we have this aligned vertically. I know, I know. That would be so good. It would be. But alas. Alas, it wasn't to be. So now, now that the lasers are down, we can figure the lasers. Laser, 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 eh. laser, laser. Fuck. <laughs> laser, 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 laser. There we go. All right. So the laser, laser. And laser. I'm gonna do that again. Oh, did you uh, happen to notice what I did with the formation and annihilation cores? So I was sick of them getting stuck. Uh, no, I didn't think I see that. I uh, in the same area I did the soul vials. I did like the same thing. 
the Ender IO crafters. Uh, something else has gone horribly wrong. Oh god. What? Uh, something's up with the, um, the unpacker for the combination package crafting. What? Uh, it is no longer combination package crafting, it is just dumping insane amounts of items on the floor. Where? Uh, oh, the... Down here. It's just hucking items everywhere. Oh, I see what it's doing. Okay, I need to fix this. Um, it's not hucking items everywhere, it's hucking the empty cells and empty glass vials that it's using for the crafting. I thought it was consuming those containers completely. But no, it's just hucking them on the floor. Oh. So I need a vacuum chest to pick those up. Okay, well, at least it's not like tossing all the items everywhere. No, I th that's what I thought it was doing at first, but no, I, I, as I was watching, I was realizing it was just emptying those vials of their liquids. Well, that's that's better, at least. All right, fine. See, I thought this is what you were talking about, where you did the uh, the the crafting. Is that is this not it? No, the the storage for the soul vials, like the. Oh, I don't in remember the, where you did that. Uh, the question mark room. Oh, okay. Yeah. Seems okay. we're not really getting those logic processes. Well, we are, but just not very quickly. Okay. Oh no, we should be. Never mind. That's interesting. We have 150 logic processors in the network, but this uh, interface doesn't feel like storing any of them. You know what? I've seen that issue quite a few times, where the items just, they don't want to come out of the network and be stored in here, and it's like a specific slot that gets broken. Yeah. Yeah, mm. I, don't, I don't know what the cause of that is. Looks like the other one's doing the same thing. Alright, well. It gets broken occasionally. Who knows? Sometimes it breaks. Okay, so now I just gotta import these back in the network. Alright, that should be enough. I think I fixed it because it's it's three range, so it should be one, two, three. Might need to go up to four. Oh, I'm at four. Yeah. Okay, so let's try it again. More Restonia, please, because that's got the uh, sulfuric acid vials. What I probably need to do is I probably need to request uh, Restonia blocks to go out to a quantity as well. Um, because this is lots needed. Yeah, that's working fine. Okay, except for when I'm in the way. Okay. Now all of our glass vials are bouncing off the ceiling before they go where they're supposed to go. And it's great. It's like a party. Yeah. There's particle effects and there's stuff bouncing on people's heads and it's great. Yeah. What more could you ask for? Yeah. Okay. So that's that's good. Okay. Now that now that that little mini crisis okay, is well, done, while we're waiting for all those to craft. Uh, so I do believe the rest of this is all set up. So we've got we've got power cables going around the outer side. Ooh. Brain chips. Brain chips. Powered, lasered. Uh, this has on the item pull, it just pulls the items out. On this one, it's got a sensor filter. So as long as there's an item in here, it triggers the craft. 
so they just craft automatically rather than needing to push a button. Similar to how I had it off in that corner, but uh, a little bit more streamlined now. Ooh. Uh, and I think that actually really covers it. Um, each one of these, each one of these has recipes. I need to encode more recipes. Um, but for right now, they are doing just fine. Um, and I need 40 more, I do believe. Because we got two lines here and two lines here. Ten, ten pillars each. So we need 40 more. I'll do them in sets of 20. Actually, I gotta do them in sets of 10. Because we don't actually have a crafting computer that can handle 20. But, uh, start. Start. And then we wait. We get to see the awesomeness that is this thing once it gets all the materials it needs to craft. And while we wait here, I'm going to take this out of my hand. Come on, you can do it. Takes a little while to craft up all the uh, the sub components first. Takes longer than I remember to craft up all the sub components. What are we? Uh, what are we waiting on? Oh no, it's starting. It's starting. I can see it's starting to tick down the bottom there. Is it starting? Oh, yeah. There it goes. See more items flowing in. Yeah, there we go. So it takes about a minute to get to get fully spun up before it starts going. And part of that is down to the fact that we're crafting a lot of things on demand rather than having a backlog of stuff ready to start crafting with. Um, so we need to we need to adjust that a little bit. But this sort of thing can really only be requested on um, on demand. We can request that it craft them up and have handfuls of them ahead of time, but it ultimately has to go through this process. So it takes a little bit for all these to craft up, which is why we needed a big array of several of them. It's going. It's going and it does it does really well. I like it. So I can't take credit for this of course. This is um I mean I I redesigned it to fit our area, but uh, this was definitely from someone else's post on the interwebs how they had automated it. They automated it vertically uh, and had these big, like, vertical standing tunnels of these things. Um, and they had a lot of their inputs and outputs in different locations and all that stuff. But uh, I, I adjusted it to suit my needs. And that was two? That was two? What the hell, what the hell are we waiting on? We are still crafting a zillion nether stars, right. And doing more empowered emeraldic crystals. Ah, there's the rest of it flowing through. That's better. That's, uh, what, ten of them plus running co uh, concurrently here? Yes. Oh, it looks so nice when they all kick in at once. Oh, the reactor The draconic crafting. stuff, yeah. 
Oh yeah. I was like, what's taking so long? Oh, and then, and then we're waiting on like 400 nether stars to craft. So that might be another project. Yeah, the phosphorus is going to be a problem. Well, it eats the phosphorus immediately for the luminescence. I mean, we do have phosphorus on request. So I was wondering about that. Yeah. One microminer does 64 phosphorus. Yeah. So in theory, if I request 256 phosphorus, it should do four microminers, right? Um, because that's four stacks. Yes. Or I tried that and it stalled out after one. All right. I don't know why. Let me take a peek. Would help if I requested the correct number. Um, yep, that would have been good. I requested four instead of lots. So I technically just requested five. Um, oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay. That didn't do what it was supposed to do at all. I mean, in terms of stalling out, that's still a problem for sure. Um, I, I have two of my requests for the for additional crafting injectors for the Draconic Fusion. I have two of those crafting jobs stalled out completely right now. Mm. Um, but what I'm seeing on the phosphorus is very different. It it thinks it's completing itself, and I don't know why that is yet. Yeah. So. This is one thing I noticed earlier with the setup. I don't know. I didn't know how to begin to look into that, but yeah, I'm gonna take a peek, see what I can figure out. Cause yeah, we need that to work. Okay, so it's got all the components it needs. Yeah, that's okay. So these are supposed to create 64 Appetite Ore, 64 Perfect Diamonds, and 64 trical Tricalcium Phosphate out of one Steel Microminer, one Gemstone Sensor, and one Quantum Flux. So that's, that's the recipe. Um, and that's this recipe right here. And it's supposed to just do the do. But it ain't doing the do, and I don't, I don't know why it's not doing the do. But let me uh, let's, let's, let's figure it out. Oh. Or or dense or going in this box. That's the output bus. This is. Oh god, they are all on right now. <laughs> yep. I wonder if whatever was stuck before finally got itself unstuck. Because this is what it's supposed to do when I'm requesting two sets of ten of those uh, fusion pillars. Mm. Yeah. Hey, it's going. Yeah, I also need this for the stabilizers. Uh, did you make recipes for that? 
Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, I no, didn't right. make them. They're just in there. Sorry, I was I was thinking of the reactor stabilizers, which we need for a different thing altogether. Oh, yeah, no, the energy core stabilizers. Yeah. Okay. I'm just waiting for those to craft. I'm not sure what they're waiting. Oh, I think they're waiting on your... They're waiting on me. Empowered yeah. laser -er. Oh, the empowered laser -er. Really? Well, according to the recipe. It's oh, like yeah, they're, they're empowered blocks. Restonia crystal blocks. Okay, yeah. <laughs> We might need more of those things, too. What are you stuck on? What are you stuck on, sir? Ah, I see. I am moderately sure it has no power. What, a laser? Yeah, this process here, I'm pretty sure oh, it's running power. It does say zero RF. Yeah. And it's just sitting there smoking. Oh, I was hoping not to have to do this. I mean, we have to do it, but I was hoping not to have to do it anytime soon. Yeah, it's because we are capping our power gen. Yep. So, that's what I was hoping the ball would be for. I can also slap down more solar panels. I think I might need to. Okay, so this is done. We have 17 Draconic Fusion Core things. Uh, because we are currently waiting on those empowered items. Okay. So that's going to be a thing. What's currently eating our power then? Because these uh, Draconic Fusion things are not happening. Don't know. Or, yeah, we're currently chewing 8.2 million R for tick, and my Draconics are not responsible for it this time. Because they, they do not have a single recipe in running. Is every EBF downstairs running? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, the IV wall is not running. Uh, let's see. Yeah, only like five or six of them are running downstairs. And that's pretty intermittent. How did we suddenly develop a power leak? Uncertain. I did go through and I tried to name as many of the points as I could as for like where they are. So you can look oh, at like yeah, yeah. the network settings in that thing and see where it's going. Oh. There's one I couldn't find. It got, it got worse. It's now up to 9 million power usage. <laughs> well, that's because I'm, I'm slapping down more panels. Oh, okay. Currently. Uh, let's see. Network members, network, network set, stat, connection. There we go. Chicken house. Lab power input is 7.8 million. Huh. The micro miners. Because, like, the reactor is not running, the uh, draconic things aren't running, and. I don't think the line is running. I don't see any micro miners running either. Weird. Where is that going? Wait, where is lab power input? Uh, it's like in the uh, in like that chimney that runs all the way up, like the spine of the building. That one that you put. This is lab power input. No, this is. Wireless antenna. Oh god. Oh god. Hang on. My computer's having yeah, a Yeah, there's a thing attack. just below that. 
That, that panicking. Uh, Stop panicking. That antenna stack. Okay. Uh, my game froze up entirely. Really? Yeah. I just went into the main power wireless antenna on top of the machine building and it's 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 frozen there. I can't get out of it. Curious. Yeah. I'm gonna still remote it into the server, otherwise I'd see if it's throwing an error or anything. Oh, I got it. Okay, we're good. I needed to tab out and back in for some reason. Yep. Yep. Uh... This one. Lab power input. I wish I could get that to tell me where that's located, like highlighted or something. To where I thought lab power input was, and it's not that one. All right. Because um, this one, this one up here between the two clean rooms is labeled as just flux point. Oh, that's the one I couldn't find to rename. Nice. Yeah, that one. Uh, should, um, I, should I rename it while I'm here? The lab. So the lab building is what I'm calling the giant white building. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah, so up in here. This one. Ah, okay. So this one then is feeding all oh, of no, the... No, it's starting to drop down. Yeah, this one's feeding all of the uh, everything. All right. Starting to wonder if we need to split that off so we can have better troubleshooting. Mm, I don't know. We're no I mean, longer capping out our power. I don't know what stopped running to do that, but... <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, while I was over here, I watched the fusion reactor kick on once, but that only took it from 8.4 to 9 million, so I don't know what was running the whole time between that. Unless, unless that's just the entire uh, ore processing. If, if ore processing just takes a whole ton of power. I mean, it does, but I don't think it's it's not on right now. It was, though. Oh, for your phosphorus? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I don't think it takes 10 million, though. I think it takes, like, two. Well, what, what are we at currently? Like, one. So we're, we're at 600,000 right now. So here, let me, let me do a thing, since we need more phosphorus anyway. Phosphorus has been requested. Assuming I hit the yes button. Did I, did I hit did I hit the yes button? It's going up. A million. Uh, it's holding steady at one point one million. Yeah. Well, this just means I gotta get the ball rolling quicker. Heh. 
But I'm gonna make it spike up again. Alright. Alright, well, let me, uh, let me finish setting up a thing. Make more problems for myself. Why not? Up, huh? And last one here. And then we only have one more row to go. Almost done. But you're you're requesting more draconic stuff, so I'll hold off. I am. I'm gonna do another round after these are done too. Okay. Well then I'll just work on more um more patterns because I still gotta encode all those. Mm. Uh, so let's see, you're you're done. So mm -hmm. you're gonna have, you can have In the meantime, while that was you waiting, have should have, you can have one of these. Hooray! Alright, so we got two more patterns for these guys. Okay, so now we gotta do other patterns. Uh, where did those go? I'm supposed to have all these patterns in there. All right, fine. Uh, I need to I need to steal them so I can duplicate them. So steal a pattern. Uh, get these patterns in here as we wait. So I believe it's six left total for all of these. So I need to make seven duplicates total because I forgot about this one. I think I had stolen these ones to duplicate for the rest of the line and then forgot to put them back in the front one as I upgraded the rest of the, the patterns. So seven total, I think. Let's, uh, let's do that. Seven. And I'm just going to put these away as I get them.
go. Alright, this is the last pattern that we have currently, but there's still more to make. So we have, we have plenty more patterns to do. So, one... Seven... One... There, okay. So all these are good. I'm gonna double check them just to make sure. And starting here. I wish there was an easier way to add these recipes. Like hold a recipe in hand, right click to apply a recipe. It'll be great. But alas, these these mods are pretty solid stuck in their development ways, so we are not gonna make any changes to them anytime soon. I didn't count because I got I got copies for two more of these these two here, but I got to do a whole other set there. All right, fine. Uh, and I'm just gonna not do that right now. I'll duplicate the patterns for those later because they are they are most likely not necessary. Um, I'm just gonna finish the line because finish the line. But we've got uh, 20 or 22. I don't recall which number it is. Um, 16 is probably as much as we actually needed, and even that's probably excessive. But I wanted to fill the space, so I filled the space. Uh, okay, so doodly do. I need to figure out what's up with the phosphorus. So what? What exactly happens? I'm gonna turn off the OR input for a minute here and see if I can figure out what's going on. Alright. Okay. So, phosphorus. We request phosphorus. So it, it has four microminers available. It has all of the various things available it needs. Why does it need the pulsating crystals? Oh, because it needs to craft the four quantum flux. Okay. So it's supposed to be trying to craft two sets of these. Two uh, or diamonds, apatite ore, and tricalcium phosphate ore. Start. And it's supposed to be doing that. <laughs> through... Down, right. Down, there we go. So let's be doing that through here. Through any number of these machines. Now let's check their inputs. You're on, but you are not running. Why are you not running? Because you don't have rocket fuel. Why don't you have rocket fuel? You're not running because you don't have rocket fuel. You don't have rocket fuel either. Okay. Okay, so now you're running. You got your rocket fuel. Okay. Uh, we need to go up. So in here then, we now have one, two, three, four, five, six stacks of tricalcium phosphate. Some quartzite, which was irrelevant to begin with, but it was coming in anyway. I figured out the problem. Uh, yeah. 
I uh, did not ever add rocket fuel to a couple of the microminers. That certainly would do it. Yep. So now, let's take a peek at the power usage. Should be spiking like hell right now. Wow, we were we were down to 145k RF. Like we were down to practically no usage. I love how 145,000 RF per tick is low usage. Yeah, it is. Even back when we were only on dynamos, that's like one seventh of them. Yeah. Yeah, at, at, we were just we were lulling for a moment. We had practically nothing running. That means all of our crafting up to quantities were done, and all of our crafts were done, and all that. But yeah, the ore processing does take a million R of a tick. Still, still cranking higher. Still cranking higher. Kind of leveling out at, uh, well, no, we're not really leveling. We're just slowly increasing as all of those ores are working their way down the line. Million R for tick right there. Yep. Million. Yep. Okay. And if we look at the connections, lab power input is at 903, 910,000. I, I really do appreciate the labeling. Of what? Of all of the the flux points. Mm. Really nice to be able to see where everything was what what everything was doing, where all the power is going. Yeah, I figure that might be handy. Yeah. Here, can you uh, come help me figure something out on the the ball? The ball. The ball. So if you right click one of the stabilizers, it says that there's a block it doesn't like. And honestly, I can't find it. Uh, error at a number. Expected error. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I tried going to that number, and I thought it was like one of these over here. So I knocked it out, and it still doesn't like some block somewhere. Unless it's this one I'm standing on. It might be. Yeah, now uh, it's got a different number it hates. Ah, so it doesn't like being so enclosed. Yeah, apparently. Alright, cool. Just hollowing out this whole goddamn thing. Spent so much time making a nice little bowl. Yep, yeah, now it's a 301. <sighs> <laughs> Is it happy now? No. 301 and then Z minus 222. Yeah. Z minus 212. 212. Okay. Still not liking the 212. What's the X value? X301, Z minus 202. Y 120. Core valid. Good. Uh, I'll That's let you weird. do the I, honors. Push the button. I literally didn't do anything since then. Sweet. But... Nice. Ah, now I just gotta f fix the holes and things. Holes and things, yeah, yeah. I mean, you could do a. Yeah. Copy paste probably wouldn't be very easy. But we have a ball. We have a ball. We have a we have a ball. It's a nice ball. It's a lovely ball. Let's see. Can we get a get a base screenshot? Yeah. Okay. Get a ball. This. Okay. So Pine and I were talking over the weekend. Um, I have played a lot of Minecraft. Like a lot. 
we're talking probably thousands of hours of modded Minecraft. And this is quite possibly the biggest, most sprawling base that I have ever been a part of. Um, between all of the giant multi-block structures and the big ass buildings we've had to fill with machinery. Um, we've got Chicken Hall, the reactor that I still haven't prettied up, unfortunately. We've got our big four chunk starting building. We've got our, our two chunk, well, so Chicken Hall is two chunk. This is three chunk. We've got four chunk starting building. Uh, we've got two chunk machine hall and clean room. We got one chunk AE core, uh, two chunk, uh, three chunk fluid complex, and then this monstrosity, which I think is equivalent of about 20 chunks, because um, I think it was 12 before we made an add-on to it. That little Z-wing at the bottom there was an add-on. Um, so I think it's about 20 core or 20 chunks total. So that makes our entire base. I think the number is 30 chunks, give or take. And that's that's excessive. It's a, a very expansive. Now granted, we could theoretically have built a whole lot up and down, um, but still, with the amount of shit that we've got, even building up and down, unless we went like single chunk skyblock, we would have been, we would have made a lot of, of vertical space and that one chunk would have been ticking so hard that we would have run into tick rate problems all that fun stuff. So we had to sprawl. There's no question about that. But this base. Oh, and of course the two chunk tree farm. I forgot about that. Uh, plus, I'm sure there's other crap I forgot about, like the uh, the one chunk fountain. And uh, miscellaneous, you know, whatever. But yeah, this is, this is quite possibly the biggest base that I've ever been a part of. Um, and since there's only two of us, I've done at least a, a significant chunk of that work. So this is, um, this is big, this is impressive. It's a lot, it's a lot to work with. Um, but let's, uh, let's attempt to do more work. So he's still fiddling with that and he's probably gonna be fiddling with that for a while, which means I'm free to craft up the last one of these. So let's do that. 10 more and 10. Not 109 more, 10 more, please. Thank you. It wouldn't have let me do 109 more anyway. We don't have a, we don't have the crafting job big enough for that. Uh, so that's gonna go. It's gonna take a while. In the meanwhile, I'm going to finish uh, recipes. Let's take a count. So we got one, right, two. There's a good three, chance four, power hiccups five, here six, for a moment. Seven, eight. Don't worry about it. Okay. Nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, Here you 16, worrying about 17, it. 18, 19, 20. I ain't worrying about it. That was, uh, that was actually going to be burning our power anyway, using the Draconic Confusion while you were busy building stuff. So we're, we're at competing points here. Oh god, oh god, okay. So we got 20. 20 is the number we're working with. And the reason I want 20 is we have other recipes to make, but like this reactor stabilizer and these draconic energy cores and the awakened cores and the awakened draconium so i have recipes that i need to work with uh let's just making sure there's no other option yeah that's okay so let's make recipes i need more patterns made because we're gonna need a bunch of them okay so block of awakened draconium is this pattern right here and we take all right so now i have the solar panels okay. feeding into the ball and then everything else pulling out of the ball nice perfect one two we already have 18 billion rf stored up 18 billion yeah I suppose at uh, millions of RF per tick, that's um, that's yeah, hundreds of millions of RF per 9. second. Nine point five million RF per tick. Nice. Okay. So that that makes it uh, how much per second? I can't math right now. Uh, closer to well, there's twenty per tick, so almost two hundred. 
RF for a second. Okay. Yeah. That's a yep. So several seconds to make a billion RF. Yep. What was the overall storage limit on this thing? Uh. Two point one trillion. Yeah. Okay. It'll take about six days to. Oh, you must be doing draconic crafting. I here. am. Yeah. I'm gonna say because you can see the numbers oh, going down no. because. Oh no. Well, hey, look at that. We're using 29 million. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. I didn't realize we were draining that much power. Oh, God. So, this thing... This thing burns a lot more power than I expected. Okay, bye, Demos. Enjoy your kitten tentacles. But when we're not doing all this fusion crafting, then uh, the ball will fill. Yeah. Well, let's really get around to maybe just slapping on even more stuff into it. I don't know. Slap a slap a. Slapping more more solar panelage. All right, so let me do this recipe. Yeah, because right now it's uh, she's a discharging. Yep. Okay. Understood. More panels. 20. 20. Energy modules. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no. All right. Uh, well... Oh, I'm gonna need to have a crafting recipe for that, because we have we have um, blocks of awakened draconium coming in as block form, but we need them in ingot form, and even though the blocks are gonna be going into uh, a storage drawer, the recipes need to know how to make more blocks by telling it to know blocks equal ingots. So we're gonna need a pattern for that. Um, that's fine. Any more patterns? Me doing patterns and the auto crafting at the top was doing some weird stuff. Okay, and then we need these patterns. These these patterns. There we go. Uh, so those are just regular crafting recipes, those are, that is, uh, so we're going to need recipes for all of those, and then this thing. Okay, now what other recipes are we going to need? Um, this thing. This thing. I'm pretty sure we have the Complex Catalyst on Autocraft. We do, right there. So, Draconic Reactor Core. The rest of these things we're getting through other methods that have crafting recipes already. That is not the right visual. Hmm. The recipe output is correct. Creates one Draconic Reactor core, but the, uh, the input item is not. Okay, so let's do uh, this item. Recipe. Uh, this item. Recipe. This item. Recipe. Uh, this item. This item, this item's recipe is uh, going to require a packager because that's more input items than necessary. Uh, so that's a thing. I'm assuming Pine's going to do that one. So we need scenarium plates. Uh, do we even know how to make scenarium? Is that a thing we know how to do? Hastily plates and scenarium. Ow. Okay. We do. How convenient is that? Uh, we can draconium plates. We already have the recipes for that in the network. Um, 
We just haven't had the Awakened Draconian yet. So that's a thing. I think... Alright, let's, uh, let's pull some recipes in. There is no easy way to do this. Um, oh, I need pattern expanders. I need, I need these things. I need more of these things. Uh, let's just do one for now. I think it'll be better. Okay. So, now we continue on with this process. This is the part that takes a little bit of time. Just because of all the amount of clicking involved. We are more than halfway done. Oh boy. Alright. Last one that's currently configured. And then we'll go configure the last one. And put in the last bits of pa uh, patterns. And then we'll be done. We'll be done. It'll be nice. Alright. Draconic core. There we go.
tweezers. So now we just throw the patterns in these things. I did not make the rest of the patterns. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll duplicate the rest of the patterns later. We'll just throw these in the, in the right locations. so I don't forget, I'm gonna do the rest of the patterns right now. We need these patterns right here. Psycons aren't showing up right, but that's fine. Okay, uh, you go down here. Uh, those aren't in the right order. So I just need two more copies of each. Okay, let me put them back in. for the last recipes. There, that was a good home. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to go over here. Hey, Pine. Yo. I'm going to request some awakened draconium. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What do you need that for? We're making stuff. Very cryptic. Indeed. All right, have fun. Okay. So, making awakened draconium takes all of this shit. All of it. So much. I'm curious how long this will take. So one batch of Awakened Draconium. I have clicked the button at stream time 137.54, I think it was. 137.54. Oh, I see something taken. That's just cores. That's not even... Yeah, these are just these are just draconic or with our cores. These aren't even those aren't even related. <laughs> oh no. Alright, I think we need to solve this problem at some point. Um the Othium dusts get a little bit broken. Oh, it did the thing though. It it actually did the thing. It did it. Yeah. 
Put him in my pocket. Nice. I did it. That took less than a minute. I mean, okay. There's a lot of lead-up time there. But <laughs> once once it was all done, it took less than a minute to craft the blocks. Ooh. All right. Uh, compacting drawer. Key. Then we go slap these in a drawer. Over here somewhere. Uh, so we get this is the, this is the draconic. Uh, so we need slappa, slappa. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Our little wall here is getting a little cramped. We're probably gonna need to start coming this direction because uh, out to here is the twelve block limit for how far a single controller can reach, and our controller is like right here. So this is out to the 12 block limit this way. We're also, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, we're only seven tall, but we're reaching the ceiling. <laughs> I don't think we want to go up into the ceiling, so we're gonna have to start going this way. That's a lot of fracking materials, like, holy God. Okay, okay. I didn't even, I, you know, I think he mentioned that those compacted like that. Um, but I do need to do the recipe for Awakened. So let's do that. Just to teach the system that it does indeed know how to make uh, draconium ingots if necessary. Okay, let's stop. Okay. Lasers can go. Let's pretty that place up a bit. ceiling. It is complete, and it is marvelous. I love it. I really do. Um, I spent a lot of time on this thing. As you saw how long it took me to finish setting it up, uh, it took me easily five times as long to, to settle on a design and to put all the pieces together, and the initial start of it was really slow because I didn't have this backbone automation to make it happen faster. The last part that you saw was probably the fastest part, um, the whole starting lead up into it was uh, very slow, but it's done. It's done. It's complete. What is? The, the, the whole Draconic Fusion line is complete, and we've got crafting patterns up to and including the Draconic Reactor Core that we'll need. Nice. Now one set of those has to be chaotic. Only one set? Yeah, there's only like three recipes out of the 36 pages <laughs> that need it, so. You know, I didn't even look at that. Yeah, there's not very many. Oh yeah, I think we can get away with only one set. I hope it's not uh, any of the recipes already made. That'd be unfortunate. 
Uh, it's probably not, but it is ones that we'll need. Like the neutron, neutronium okay. solar panels and the chaotic core. Okay. Something else, but I need yeah. to double check all the recipes I just made then just to make sure they aren't chaotic tier. But uh, we can only get the chaos shards with the special drone with the tier eight drones, I think. Yep. And each tier eight drone needs a tier seven drone. Really? I didn't even see that part. Well, because you need the chaos dragon layer data for the tier oh, eight drone. Right, right, right. So I mean, we've got the we've got the chaos data available. I've I've already I've already run one of those. Yeah. So I mean, that's a that's a thing that we can do. Uh, I guess I should get working on the tier eight micro miner. Yep, we'll need. So in all in all, we need twenty two. If okay, if we use the resources we get back intelligently, uh, we need huh. twenty two tier eights, which means twenty two tier sevens, one tier nine, one tier ten. Uh, was that just? 22 tier 7s just for the chaos data? Yes. So not counting whatever we need for eggs and whatnot. Well, we get eggs back with the shards. Ah, true. So. Alright. Well, let me run a handful of chaos data ones and get those started. Yeah, keep like a running tally so you don't need necessarily need to make more than just the 22. If you, unless, I mean... I mean, we have exactly one chaos data so far, and I'm running four because we have four of the Got it. tier sevens crafted up right now. So, I figured Roger. I'd just let it let it take the time it needs to craft up the tier sevens. Yep, yep, yep. Now I gotta figure out how to make tier eights. That one's gonna be expensive. A little bit, yeah. Well, hang on, hang on. What what are we missing? Because I think I think that's the part I need to know. So it's, we're missing stuff. It's it's grayed out. We can't touch it. So we are missing ZPM field generators. All right, fair enough. ZPM field generator. On a positive note, um, I went to go craft a tier 8 micro miner, and we are literally missing one item that is not auto crafted. Which is? A ZPM field generator. Well, I will, uh, I'll tell you what. Yeah. The ZPM field generator is in the set for the assembly lines that I'm setting up right now. How convenient. Oh. And that I happens know. to require awakened draconium. So convenient that I just did some of that. He needs it liquefied. Oh, well, okay. Um, <laughs> oh, if you want to do that, too. You wanna, do you want that done around these machines, or do you want that done elsewhere? It doesn't really matter. Okay, okay. Well, what's it take to liquefy some awakened draconium? It takes an LV extractor. Okay, so apparently it's not difficult to, li to liquidify. Uh, liquidate. To juice, juice it. All right, so that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. Um, all right. So it takes exactly one block. Hold up, twelve ninety six, twelve ninety six. Okay. It takes an entire block of liquid awakened draconium to make a single ZPM field generator. I know it sucks, cool. right? Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> That it's means so expensive. That means it takes a block of uh, a block of awakened draconium per tier eight. Mm hmm. Uh huh. All right. Cool. Another reason to use the drones intelligently. They're stupidly expensive right yeah. now. Yeah. All right. Well, we need an extractor. Um, well, let's just, just go with IV. I have a spot for it. Uh, let's go to that spot. 
No, I don't, I don't want your friggin' eggs. Go away. Alright. Elite. Slappa. We need a Draconic Ingot. Precisely one. Uh, ooh. Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't know how to limit this exactly. Because ultimately, we we don't want it to be melting all of the draconium forever. Um. How do we limit this? Because I know how to make it available to the network. We could just put um, a fuel interface or a, a fluid storage bus on this machine and it would just it would melt up the max amount of available fluids that it could, and it would just make that available to the network. Um, but to do that, I mean, I guess what I could do is I could, so this machine is going to have 64,000 liters. So it's going to be able to melt up essentially 64 uh, blocks of draconium. So we don't want it to do that. I don't, hmm. I don't know how to stop that from happening. Keela, stop it. Stop it, kitty. Stop it, kitty. Stop it, kitty. Stop, stop doing it. Stop, stop doing what you're doing. Stop it, kitty. I don't... I don't know how to do the thing. Hmm... So let's see, we only want it to melt up a block at a time per per ZPM. Hmm. We could, could set it on a crafting request. One ZPM equals one draconic. Thingy. Hmm. So the block of awakened draconium is five blocks of draconium and liver and core. Or a bunch of wavering cores and dragon hearts. Dragon hearts are tier seven, so that's a painful process. Um, hmm. So the crafting card cannot go into a fluid export bus. So the crafting card, or the, the fluid export bus that might be put onto the assembly line would not be able to forcefully request the fluid to be crafted at the time because we don't have the fluid crafting add-on for AE2. We have some fluid management, but we don't have the one that I'm familiar with to be able to craft with fluids. Um, this capacity card doesn't matter, but it does list, you can see which ones it will work with, including the fluid stuff. Um, could do, 
We could do a crafting card on a level emitter to redstone limit this thing so that it's only running when the ZPM field generator is being crafted. But that thing's got a 30 second craft time and we're gonna be melting down a block per second, basically. Hey, you, you stop. You stop being a poop. Huh. All right. All right. I, I'm running into a logical problem I don't know how to solve. Tragic. What's that? Uh, so we need one block of liquid awakened draconium for the ZPMs. So I hear. Um, I don't know how to limit this machine to not cook up every block that we receive uh, to, to stop that from being a problem. Because ultimately it's going to end up melting down upwards of 64 blocks of awakened draconium to fill its internal buffer. Its internal buffer I can make available to the network just through a, a fluid storage bus. So we don't need to store it elsewhere. Um have a, a an item interface with an item conduit in between and have it with a level emitter set to only export if awakened draconium is above a certain level that way if we have if you set it to the only export into the machine to melt down if we have more than say 20 awakened draconium then it and we have 50 in the network, you'll melt down 30 of them and then stop. And we still have 20 left over for whatever. True. But then what's the mechanism to make sure that it can then request more awakened draconium if, for example, we need a ZPM field generator? So if we go below that 20 number, it will no longer have awakened draconium to melt down to make a ZPM to be able to do the next step of the chain, to make the next thing. Uh, that I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I don't, I don't know how to solve this necessarily. Um, my only thought is maybe actually forcefully go down to an LV machine, which has like a 16 bucket buffer. So we'd only be melting down 16 blocks of draconium and that would be then made available to the network for crafting for ZPMs. That's the only thing I can think of. Otherwise, we could we could just forcefully go ahead with making 64 plus blocks of awakened draconium to melt down, so we can have that liquid available. Because we're gonna need at least half that anyway, I guess. Yeah. Hey, Gina. Yeah. Who's that it? Well, whatever you uh, decide to do, I'm sure it'll work out great. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's see. So if we did a... These things do not show us what we need to, to be shown. Um, MV. So if we take this MV extractor and we go up to the remainder of the MV wall. Ow, my face. Uh, it's up one. So this is the remainder of the MV wall. Um, and this is going to have 12. You know what? Fuck it. This is the answer. I think this will have to be the answer. Um, so let's get uh, 8x energetic alloy. Blap. Okay. Okay. Because that means that we're only melting up 12 blocks of awakened draconium to make available. Which is a far cry better than what we were talking about. Uh, so let me get an interface. And I will also take a fluid interface. Nope, not a fluid interface. I need a fluid storage bus. And I need some cables.
Okay. So then we need robot arm and filter. Keep exactly one. Oh, that's a 22 second. Really? Oh yeah, 44 seconds for for uh, LV. So 22 seconds for MV, which isn't awful. It's not the worst. Well, that's gonna just store in its buffer and. That's gonna keep doing that. And then we're going to put this on request. We're gonna put on a crafting card. Yep, oh, right. Craft is the worst the worst word to search for. I'll search for crafting card. And then you will be in here so that if you run out of awakened draconium, you will know to request to craft more. I'm assuming you just set up an export. Yep. Okie doke. <laughs> I was like, my machine just emptied. Alright, so for right now, I settled on an MV machine which stores 11 or 12 ingots worth or blocks worth. Okay. So that uh, it won't go too crazy. No. <laughs> Okay, so it is now. Uh, okay. Well, there's things. one more thing that. Oh man. Okay. What? What you yeah. need? What you need? I need setting up for automation of uranium rhodium dinoquidide wire. Okay. So really, you just need the radium rhodium, or uranium rhodium dinoquidide, because we already have the wire ready for autocraft. R right. Yes. And it's the auto, auto mixed, auto melted, or auto uh, EBF'd. Okay. Okay. Uranium rhodium dinoquidide. It's fucking pitch black. I can't see these at all. Um, uranium, rhodium, dinoquidite dust. It is, it's a freaking... It's a ZPM mix. God damn it. Nice. <laughs> ah, Alright. Do we have the means to make full ZPM everything? All, all the machinery? Uh, possibly. I mean, you should be able to make the one-offs that we need, anyways. Currently. Okay. And then this is an MV cool, which we should have fine. We've got liquid helium, etc. All right, we'll get to work. Oh yeah, because I don't have like the robot arms or any of that set up. So, pos depending on what machine. Or what parts you need, maybe not. But working on it. We're getting there. Cool. Uh, fusion glass. Really? Really? Clean room, fusion glass on LUV. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. So you uh, you remember that push that we made for that fusion reactor? And mm -hmm. we made a whole bunch of shit by hand. We kind of now need those things automated. Like what? Like the fusion glass, for example, is needed in a, a ZP mixer. Um. So in the clean room here. Uh, well, okay, I at least have 
right here, this one with the interface on top of it, those neutron reflectors set up for okay. uh, request. Okay, um, that part's good. I was going to do this. Oh, this is a circuit assembler. I used the wrong thing. Uh, I was going to set this one up for like the fusion. Coil, I think of the super connecting coils, maybe. I don't remember. Okay. But one of those needed to be in a clean room, too, but we haven't gotten there yet. Can we craft this? Yes. Can we craft this? Yes. And I know we can craft this. Yes. So then the last bit is the fusion glass. So let's do it. We need a, we need a an LUV assembler. Uh, not a circuit assembler, but an LUV regular old assembler. So I'll do a ZPM assembler, because why the hell not? Uh, cir circuit assembler. Um, ZPM assembly machine. Now we wait. Oh god, wireless out of range. He's touching cables. Alright, so this is 8x. Yeah, it's probably fine. Okay, so we got the cables. We're still waiting on the arms and the conveyor modules. Those are a little bit slow to come in. Uh, meanwhile, let's work on the mixer. Never mind, they're all done. Just need the fusion glass. We will need a fluid export. Can't set up yet because I don't have a machine to put in there yet. Oh god, those are still coming. Okay, that's that's part of why he's building the assembly machine right now. Oh man, does that thing look awesome from afar though? Yeah, that's why he's uh, working on these assembler lines, because um, yeah, it's real slow. At least our current setup is real slow. We haven't, they haven't even come through yet. Okay, that's fine. All right. But to get the Elite Mixer set up for the fusion glass, we need laminated glass, knockout plates, and iridium neutron reflectors. And I don't know if we want to, probably should just do craft on demand. So we'd have a, an assembler with liquid PBI in it, and then a recipe for that. So let's make a recipe for that. Uh, da, 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 da. Recipe goes in here. Oh, those are still coming. Oh, good lord. What the... Uh, 30 seconds to craft each. Some sums up. Uh, is one of these assembly lines you just set up uh, responsible for the ZPM arms and whatnot? Um, no. Uh, were those ZPM arms in the previous one downstairs? Uh, they should be. Because they, they... they don't appear to be coming out. Yeah, it's, it's the one downstairs. Unless still, it's then. still just chewing on materials or uh, subcomponents or something. 
probably. Oh, yeah, because they require a whole bunch of freaking motors to go into them. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. So it's crafting up like six motors at 30 seconds each before it can even start the next step. That's why. My, my impatience just kicked in. Yeah, I just got the, the conveyor modules done. Okay. So we just gotta be more patient. At least until he finishes everything that he's doing. So, uh, what can we work on in the meantime? Because I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying to do that uh, the uranium rhodium dinoquidide, which is a, a noble goal, but I can't do it until the mixer's ready, which I can't do until the assembly machine is ready. So we're waiting. Um, we do have liquid PBI though, right? Yeah, we got we got plenty. Had you tackled the Nether Stars at all? Mm, sort of, but I stopped it because of the phosphorus problem. Ah, the phosphorus problem. But on the main floor of the of the main first building, by the door towards like the reactor building, yeah. there's a crate with an export bus and a crafting cart. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so that's how you tackled it. I see. Yeah, I was storing them over there so that way they didn't immediately get consumed by something. We needed like a backlog for stuff. Got it. But then I stopped it because of the. I'm like, oh wait, yeah, we're out of phosphorus. So you did not tackle the crafting of them faster. You just tackled an overstock. Is that yeah, what it, okay. it's, not, it's not doing it faster. It was doing it constantly. Right, okay. So I was going to tackle the faster and I think I'm also going to tackle the, uh, the phosphorus issue. I have, I have an idea on that. Great. Do you know how much phosphorus is outputted from a stack of the phosphorus ore? I want... Well... It's hard to say because some piles are like from like the tricalcium phosphate or the appetite we get. It's yeah. like a percent chance based on the power level. Right. So it makes it really hard to. Uh, I would say if I need a at, I need a bare minimum output. So what I would say is look at the both the tricalcium phosphate and the appetite, and look at just the guaranteed piles. Yeah. And, okay. You know, multiply that out as many times as you need. Don't even worry about the percent chance ones. And yeah. That's 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 the number you should run with. Any yeah. overage will just be nice. Okay. Uh, okay. So six of these into one of the centrifuged ones, which then gets crushed down into one to one. Um. Yeah, so one, and then tricalcium phosphate. Uh, the, uh, centrifuge is out to two, well, five to two. Uh, well, that's not, that's not easy math. Um, okay. And then two phosphate down to one phosphorus. That's also not easy math. This math is awful. I believe in you. So five tricalcium phosphate equals two phosphate. Oh yeah. Well, and then bit, yeah, for five sure. phosphate equals one phosphorus. That is not pretty math at all. So just put that into the the recipe chart in the in the uh, tab or the terminal. You say have... that, but I never learned how to do that. <laughs> ah, jeez, it's super easy. Though. I never did it. I never did it. Why do I have two terminals? <laughs> what the hell? All right, which one of these has my battery in it? Uh, this, they both have. Okay, yeah, I don't, I don't understand. All right, so um, I need uh, um. I need um, I 
need I need App Store Pong. Let us play Pong. Yes. Uh, recipe chart. Do it. Do it. I don't have paper. Let's um, let's figure it, figure out how to use this thing. S'mores, s'mores, sming it. Yes. Uh, so, remove the s'mores, sming it. Wrong button. Don't worry about it. Uh, how do we? How do we? Uh, how do I do a new node? Ah, new node. New, new uh, root slot. So you can be red calcium phosphate. Uh, calculate demand. This is uh this is correct. I did not know how to do the thing. Um, phosphorus. Phosphorus. Yeah, definitely have no idea how to do this. Um, phosphorus. How do you use this damn thing? Can't add. Oh, yeah, I, added, I added a root slot. Okay. A little tricalcium phosphate. Uh, phos phosphate. Okay. So select select a node. Calculator. Demand two. One. How how does this how does this work? What? Ah. Okay. node centrifuge try calcium phosphate dust five into phos phosphate You crash? I did. Weird. Because I don't know how to use this damn thing. And I pushed a button that uh, apparently doesn't work. Oh. oh. I pushed the JEI focus button and it crashed again. 
Well, that's the button you need to push. Well, that's a problem. Did you have a, a, a root node selected? So, with the root node, mm -hmm. is that supposed to be my target item or my source yes. item? Yes, target item. Target item. And then you build it backwards from there. Okay. Last thing. Phosphorus to phosphate. Okay. So fifteen calcium phosph tricalcium phosphate dust to one phosphorus is what I'm reading here. Assuming that that's all correct. Because that, that doesn't look correct. Because it is five tricalcium phosphate to two phosphate dust. How do you, how do you tell it to make the numbers right? Um, okay, so... Like I got I got it to recognize the path from phosphorus to phosphate to tricalcium phosphate, uh, but all the numbers don't seem right. Like it thinks one phosphorus is five phosphate, and that's not a that's not the right numbers. Yeah, it's one phosphate, or the f <laughs> yeah one right the phosphate. Uh, phosphate dust. It takes. Um, oh yeah, yeah, that's five to one. Yeah, okay. it takes five of them to go into one. So. Okay, so then five of them into one, but it's five tricalcium phosphate to two phosphate. Mm -hmm. But it thinks it's a three to one conversion. It's listed five phosphate dust to fifteen tricalcium phosphate. Hold on. Tricalcium phosphate in... In centrifuge is 5 to 2. Is a 5 to 2. So that should not be the right... That should should not be the math. Hold on. Let me uh, pull up a new page here and take a look. I'm going to watch you do it because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. We want phosphorus at the end. Phosphorus, yes. Because that, that's the thing we need for all the stuff. Okay, and we're going to make it with this recipe here. And then we'll make this. This recipe here. Fifteen. It does say fifteen. Yeah. Hold on. Oh. Yeah, it should be. Is because it, is it fifteen? It will be because if we want to make one phosphorus because of the reduction between phosphate and phosphorus, because it's a three to one. Uh, okay. Or it's the 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 down here. So if we want to make five of these, we'll need or like enough of those, I guess. Okay. Um, so if we want, well, and then hold on this is coming from uh, so according to that then phosphate right yeah tricalcium phosphate is our source there, there's other sources in between but that's the main one yeah so it looks like it's a for two tricalcium phosphate ore it goes down and so it's a one half reduction for phosphorus dust 
So if we want like okay. 128 phosphorus dust, we need. Well, it's not. It's not gonna be exactly. Apparently, it's probably a rounding. Yeah, my no my number says 64 phosphorus dust is 800 tricalcium phosphate dust. 600 phosphorus. Six, 64 phosphorus is 800 tricalcium phosphate. Yeah, that's what I get too. Okay. Which is 100 or. Okay. All right, all right. Those are crappy returns. They are crappy returns. All right, so let's uh, JEI focus. No, we don't want a one to one smelt it. Uh, we could one to one smelt it, but I think what we'd be looking for is. Oh, so this is, yeah, this is, I write, so Appetite only has, I mean, it's got a couple tiny piles, it's got some tiny piles, it's got some questionable outputs, but this one is the one that's the important one. So it's a one to six, one ore to six crushed, which is one tricalcium, so six. Six is the number we're looking for. Can I get one of these that outputs a six? Uh, sure, let's do this one. So 134. So for every two stacks, give or take, of phosphate ore, tricalcium phosphate ore, we're going to get a stack of phosphorus dust. Um, cool. All right. So now I temporarily know how to use this thing. Temporarily, because uh, I will forget by the time I decide to use it again. But um, let's do 134. To 64. I'm trying to think of a good alternative to use here. Probably 192, so three stacks. Because two stacks is 128. Three stacks is 192. Um, I'm pretty sure. So let's do a recipe that is tricalcium phosphate ore equals phosphorus dust. So, five to six. I think a six to one return would be easier to work with. 384, okay. Uh, 192, yeah, there we go. So let's do that then. Um, so that recipe is going to go in an interface, I think. Yes. So this recipe, I had to think on that for a moment. Uh, this recipe goes down here. Or phosphorus dust. So we put that recipe here. And that. So that if we ever run out of phosphorus dust, it requests more. Yes, there we go. Okay. Um, now this is still rate limited to luminescence which we currently have over, so it shouldn't be a problem. But that should work. 
Now, we currently have a lot of phosphorus in the network. I mean, it's it's an acceptable amount of phosphorus in the network. Uh, can I request more? So if I request 64 phosphorus, it knows to go out and reach out for this. Got it. Perfect. Okay. So let's do it, because why the hell not? Alright, I, I have a sort of fix in place. Oh yeah? Uh, I have made a recipe. Uh -huh. uh, I went I went with an overage, so okay. three, three stacks of ore equals 64 phosphorus. I put that recipe in the ME interface that is making luminescence, so it knows to request more if it runs out. And we can also request uh, phosphorus to be crafted. And it knows to do phosphorus from the ore, so it sends out a microminer. Nice. So anywhere you need phosphorus, works. you just gotta set it up to be to be able to craft request phosphorus. So hopefully that'll alleviate that problem a little bit. Hope so. <laughs> okay. So this problem. doing other things. Uh, assembly machine. Gimme. Yeah. Okay. So now, uh, you need to be wrenched. You need fluid. And you need to be a PBI fluid, specifically. Do three fusion glass to make sure that that can all work correctly. Good. And we just need to wrench you up that button. Auto out. Good. Elite mixer. Get another ZPM hull. I don't know where these are being made, so I have no idea where to check for those. Ah, waiting on the knock with the alloy plates. Okay. Perfect. Elite mixer. And we are attempting to make uranium rhodium dinoquidide, which we need a program circuit for. We need uranium 238. Eight rhodium and two naquita. And we need a number four circuit. Yeah, we need a place to do this. Um, we don't really have anywhere that's uh, set up for ZPM. I think we have we have the clean room there, and I think we have a manual wall. We have a manual spot like right here. That's the only place that's doing ZPM currently. Um, that was not where I expected to go. Uh, So, I could make a little ZPM spot over here in the machine room. Because otherwise we're, we're mixing dusts, which is typically done over here. But this place is basically full and doesn't have any ZPM hookups. So, I don't know exactly where we're going to go about doing that. Also, 
the mixing on this is seven and a half second mix. That's not awful, but that makes four of them, so that's decent. And that's gonna make this, which needs to be cooked at 50 seconds per at IV. Oh God, all right. Okie dokie. So we need a ZPM mixing location. Uh, hmm. Hmm. I mean, I, I guess I could weasel it in back here. Let's do it. It'll, it'll be. It'll be. It'll be temporary. <laughs> Conduits. And we need a ZPM converter. Take an 8 amp because we have it. And for right now, we're just going to replicate what we got going on here. Uh, I need 8 amp wireage. This is going to be a little bit of a problem because of the spacing, but whatever, it's fine. Alright, so we, we continue to replicate. Don't don't request any of the stuff from the assembly line just yet. I gotta turn off the current one that's working. Oh, oh never mind. It looks like it's run. Oh, it's not running. Okay. <laughs> okay. I just I see the animation stuck on it. So. Oh yeah, it was stuck for me earlier too. Yeah. I'm gonna disconnect it and see if my new ones work. Good. Alright, so the standard mixing process is uh, inputs, robot arm, output down. So we can just we can just do that. Uh uh, robot arm filter wrench downward robot arm upward screwdriver upward filter keep exact import And the four circuit to do the mixy mix. All right, that's being mixed. Um, we now need uh, EBF room. And I need to find the EBF that is responsible for making these, which is the argon. Got nitrogen, nitrogen, helium, helium, argon. Either of these, okay. So I need a space. Where are you? Ah, enriched aqua. Okay. We'll do that one, that space right there. Yeah, let me out, let me out.
Okay, uh, so just to make sure I've got all of the everything correct. Rich Nakwada. Numbers, numbers, numbers. stuff called again. Uranium, rhodium, dinaquidide. That was a hell of a mouthful. Okay, and then we set you uh, Copy. Uh, I also need level of edit. What you working on? Uh, your uranium rhodium dead aqua died. Oh, thanks. Because sure, why the hell not? Everything else is set to a thousand. Uh, and then I need you go slap it. is not doing. It's moving the items. It's not getting the items from the network. some. I don't know exactly what it's doing, but it's doing. So just to make sure this is all set up right, um, active with signal, active with signal, channel white, we're getting signals in and out white. Why are you not doing? You require IB with trinium. <laughs> all right, all right, fine. We need trinium coils, which means we need trinium. bigger project than I thought. Yeah. Needs trinium coils. Well, we should have the trinium for that. We do. I just wasn't expecting to have to do that. So, trinium coils it is. Liquid Nakwada. Of course it requires liquid Nakwada. And it's a ZPM machine. So, of course it's a, a liquid ZPM machine. Alright, um, I'm going to do this up 
Mm, we might have we might have an assembler that I can use. Yes, okay. So this can do the the coils. And uh, for the coils we need 2x trinium wire and uh, enriched Nakwita foil. And I think it's something like two stacks of each of those. So 128, I think. So 2x, 2x trinium wire. And then Nakwita alloy foil. Quadria. Is it Nakwita Alloy? Just making sure. Oh, Enriched Nakwita. Okay. So Enriched Nakwita Foil, two stacks of that. Enriched Nakwita we have enough of, so that's good. So those things need to cook up and we need to melt down, uh, I think it's 16. So two stacks per 16. Uh, Nakwita ingots. And we're going to need more than that if we're going to do that whole coil block. Um, I don't know how many more yet, because I don't remember how many go into those. But some, and we'll probably just craft some of that as we go. So let's melt up some of this stuff. And we could just do one piece of it for right now and then filter those to that one spot. That'll be handy. Okay, uh, so you are almost done. We'll, we'll wait for you before I even go to the next step because it's, it's here. I don't have to search for it again. up another batch of each of these because we're going to need them and then uh, training. these ones taken longer because uh, they have to go through two crafting steps but we're almost there actually we'll come back to that one in the tank almost One more batch, please. Alright, so you're going, you're almost done cooking these up, so we'll wait for these ones too. I do appreciate that the, um, the numbers are consistent across the board. It's always been two stacks of the wires, two stacks of the foil, with 16 of the previous ingots uh, to do even even cooking for every single coil block across the board. Appreciate the consistency. That, that. Alright, so we are doing our first stack of 16 of the coil blocks. Another stack of 16 is incoming, and that is going to be a little more than half of the required coil blocks for the whole multi block structure. So that'll be good. And then uh, we'll do some. This is going to take forever to cook. We'll do some math now. Hi, kitty. How are you, kitty? Okay, so 16 is this right here. 16, 32, 48, 64, 70. I think 70 is the number we need. But either way, what I'm making right now is not nearly enough. One. <laughs> Alright, this is going to take a little bit. Because that is 40 seconds per. So we're looking at 10 to 12 minutes to craft up the first round of 16 of these things. It's gonna take some time. 
Uh, meanwhile, you are almost done. How lucky. How lucky. Now, okay. Nope. Need that. We got 32 coil blocks incoming. So that'll be half of it. Okay, I am I am between crafting jobs at the moment. You need something on me? Naquadria. Naquadria. I see. Quadria dust. Tis not it's an LUV, not too bad. Hi midnight. I um my head's overloaded a little bit, but it's fine, we're getting there. Oh Tony, we are way beyond that. Uh we just built this tonight, or rather uh he did. Um which is a an, an energy core that is a stabilized sphere of pure energy. Um, I also finished building this tonight, which is a laser array of fusion crafting. Really neat when it gets going. Um, in fact, I think we need it to go now. Let's let's make some more awakened draconian. Cause why the heck not? Hey, sir. Not for your shit, sir. Um. Also. Okay, I believe these are all plugged in and ready to go. Really? I think so. Huh, that's not working. Interesting. I know, right, Tony? Like, lasers. Lasers. Um, I don't... I don't know why exactly this isn't working, but let's make it work. We're having a... We're having a bit of an overload problem. Um, we're doing... We're doing too much. Sir. Sir. Right, it's it's doing it's doing some stuff. <laughs> run, Gila, run! Hi, hi, <laughs> Gila, Gila, it's done. There it goes. Whee! Full power. Yeah, dude. It does stuff. I like that it does also, stuff. Also, in 11 minutes, the ball will be full. Not if I keep going. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> It took me so long to build this thing. But what is so awesome. I love it. So I've I've played with this mod before, but never to this extent. I think we've only ever had one or two setups. This is 20 setups in a row. All lined up. All able to do parallel crafting. Uh, to extents that I've never done before. So uh, I'm I'm really I'm really happy with this.
What are you making? Oh, I'm, I'm just showing off my, my shiny thing. Oh, okay. But for whatever reason, it did not choose to auto-craft another batch of four of the tier fours, or tier tier sevens. Um, I haven't uh -huh. set up to request a batch of tier sevens, but it did not. So I just manually queued that up right now. And I Is don't... that because those need things from the uh, assembly lines that I had no, until no. recently just plugged in? Because like, these are running now. Well, I mean, maybe. Maybe. So look how fast they go. They do go fast. Oh, oh good lord. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Look at that. Look at them lasers. So this is Pine's project that he's been working on. Yeah, buddy. So yeah, it might it, it might have required some parts from here that I didn't realize. But yeah. it didn't... I, I mean, I just queued them up manually now and they all worked. So something had stopped it from thinking it could queue them up on its own. Oh, this is so nice. It's so good. So are the are the ZPM things ready to go? Well, the ZPM, um, yes. ZPM yeah, okay. field generator? Everything, uh, try one out. As long as we have the Awakened Draconium for it. Should okay. go. That'll um, be in... Oh, apparently it needs fine uranium... Oh yeah, that's, that's, right. that's why I had you do that. Got it. Cool. All right. Yeah, that'll be in these two. Okay. Good. Here, um, this cluster of four over here. Yeah. Are the all the motors, robot arms, pistons, etc. For ludicrous voltage, ZPM, and ultimate voltage. Okay. Okay. So those things are probably going to be used the most, which is why I spread it into four. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Everything else is... All the other clusters are too. Nice. Nice. All right, I'm going to go back and look at the uh, the trinium coils and see how those are coming along. Because uh, apparently that's stopping me from doing my next thing too. You're at 13. So close. But yeah, we got some really awesome builds in here. Um, and I this figure the is... one downstairs can be for anything we need to like manually make that's not on autocraft, like reactor computers. Because I didn't, I didn't put that into the okay system, but so actually, midnight and Tony, um, I am slowly working on a project to either enhance or create my own. Minecraft mod pack that I intend to use as a community server. So not necessarily a stream thing, but something that'll be open for everyone to join in and play. Um, and it, it will not be this. Because no. But it will be a little bit more uh, slow paced and survival focused. But with a crazy amount of decorative items. Because I want people to build awesome things so it'll be a, it'll be a community server and it will be available I will not give a time or date because I don't know how long it's gonna take me to build this thing yet and I probably will not be able to get it done until we're done with this pack so just heads up on it incoming if you're interested Oh, did we determine that the coil blocks all have to be the same across the board for the multi-block? They, at least for, yeah, I mean, adjacent ones, you can't okay. share it, otherwise it complains it's an incomplete structure. So if I do a partial right now, I'm going to break at least one or two of them, temporarily. Unless you replace either the first draconium on the left, which is constantly running, or the one that you have dark solarium in. Those two are standalones. Yeah. No, I was going to add it into... It's one of the Argon ones. So it's one of the... I currently have it added into the back one for Argon. Ah. So I was going to I was gonna upgrade that slowly as I went, which is, of course, going to break some of them. Still, yeah. Uh, I definitely want to break it, though. Because I want this to start cooking. Go for it, then. Okay. Do what must be done. Do it. Do it. 
Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna break shit. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Yeah. PC, stop stop having a heart attack. Oh hey, I upgraded my coils. Trinium ones aren't really noticeably brighter than the Nakuda ones. They are a little bit, but it's not as big of a leap forward as the previous leaps. Yeah. It's there's still only, blinding as hell, but there's only yeah. so much they can they can do. I mean, they could have cranked up the bloom. Just just more bloom. Well, even the bad review. <laughs> All of the bloom. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna take this out. Would not recommend. Did not scorch my eyeballs. Exactly. Disappointed. Very disappointed. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna slap of this back in here. Uh, we're gonna take this out of here for now. And here. Yeah, I broke it. I definitely broke it. All right, uh, it's fine. It's fine. So this one in particular is broken, but that means the rest of the line can work until further notice. Um, I just need to continue upgrading them down the line as I get more of the trinium coil blocks. But that's what's going on up here as it cooks. So that's going to take some more time. I do need to prepare more stuff. Uh, more Nakwada. Now I have 16 Nakwada coil blocks in my pocket that don't need to be in my pocket. So I could, for example, upgrade these. Um, but I don't want to break them. It's so freaking bright. Uh -huh. So I'll wait until I get a whole line of these broken down. And then I'll upgrade the next one. Probably this one. So now we wait. I mean, the good news is, is as I'm upgrading these down the line, if I do 16 at a time, it only breaks one of the six EBFs. So it's not that bad. How many trinium coil things are you making? Well, you need 16 per EBF, and you need 70 for our whole line of six. So, a lot. Except for the part where they don't have enough power. Well, there is that. Time to upgrade them. Ah, uh, no, I think this is a line problem. Time to upgrade them. This machine needs more energy. All Time of the EBS are doing that. Rewire the base. Time to rewire the base. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright. Yep. For the final time, though. Or. Or. 
Only upgrade the the uh, the ZP or like the EBF underbelly there. I was just thinking about that. Yeah. And slap a flex point, flex plug. I'm gonna do it. All right. Okay. So flex point. We're gonna start. We're gonna start wiring things. Yeah, under here. Uh, so under here is where we need to wire things. And I need to figure out where the incoming is. And I I need more space for love. Of, I need I need more space. Let's make more space. He did a horrible cropping job down here. We need, we, need to, we need to recover from this terrible crop job. Ah. Hmm. You're hazardous. I don't like that. but no one loves you. Okay. Now we can go back to this job. Can't see shit. I fell on a hole. Now we have walk-in room, and we have light room. Perfect. Okay, uh, let's see. Close enough. So close. Uno más. Uh, we're out of power. Yeah. What'd you do? I did not. I haven't even touched the power yet. We're just out of power. I haven't touched any cabling yet. We just have none. Last century, the ball is full. Well, then you did something wrong. Yep, we got no power. Here, 
Let's take that. Oh, we're capping the wires on the in the power room here. Ah, I see. Pulling out of this giant capacitor bank that we don't really need anymore. I see. Yeah, that's that's what it is. So we need to do the rest of the base. Uh, yes. Okay. Well, I think we need to split off the parts anyway. Um, because otherwise we can't, I don't think we can easily do the entire base at one time, considering how long it takes to make those conduits. Yep. Well, I mean, we, yeah, we can just flux point each floor. Yeah, so I'm, I'm starting on the EBS. As soon as I can figure out how the wiring is done down here to cut it out. Uh, it's coming down right here. Yeah, but from, from where? From the floors Here. above. Oh, just come down below the floor. Yeah, it's just this wire going up. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. That's easy enough. Yep. Single point of failure, you know. Hooray! Yeah. What I think I'd like to do is I'd like to I'd like to streamline these cables a little bit. Cause uh it's got a little bit clustery down here. We're going to have a central point starting here, going that way. Make this a little bit, a little bit cleaner. You can go away. You can go away. You can go away. 
You can go away. We need a lab block. We don't have any lab blocks. We need lab blocks. And for right now, I'm just gonna slap them. We need large tile lab blocks. Large style lab block, okay. Okay, so you go. Alright, so that's this section done. Uh, and then we need to go, so this flux point is here, what I might do instead is move it. Nice! And then we can move the flux point to, like, right... Right here. Yeah, okay. So then, uh, as we get more conduits... Ooh. Conduits. This side, right here needs to be done. This side. That right over there needs to be done. Uh, God, these cables. <laughs> back for a sec and take these things. Alright, these need to get done like as soon as possible. So uh, let's uh, get rid of all this extra weirdness. Ugh. Floors. Floors. What on earth is this cabling? Look at you doing all the quests. I mean, I'm just grabbing ingots. <laughs> Look at you doing all the quests. I'm crushing it over here. You're just doing everything. And I'm falling down holes. Hooray. Alright, you know, you know what? I'm tired of falling down holes. We need a building gadget. Uh, and a lot of cobblestone.
tired of falling down friggin' holes. Condos can go. I uh, had almost made a critical error. Critical blunder? And, yeah, and then I, I took down all of the power down here, and not I didn't realize that that was also stopping me from getting more conduits to finish it off. <laughs> oh, so I, been, I had to take down a few of the conduits I had put up so I could rewire the, the freezers first so that we can get more conduits. Uh, so let's see. So we got uh, we got this one wired up over here. We need this one wired up this way. Hello, kitty. How are you, kitty? All right, uh, and that's all wired up that way. So then this can get wired up this way. Yell at me. <laughs> Alright, it is now cleaner and they are working without imploding on themselves. Nice. I actually made it uh, I made it walkable down there. All right, because it was it was not before, and I was having a hard time getting through the cables, so I just said, "Fuck it," built a, built the floor down. Okay, so now I have this batch of trium coils in my pocket. We can do this side over here.
think this is the fluid that he already put in there from my other spot over there. So I think we're good. Keep on cooking. Places are happening. Stop in things. Definitely running at capacity with these things though, because uh, these things are running for ruridit, zinc, and trinium pretty much constantly. Why is zinc in here? Zinc is in here. Why does zinc need to be in here? What does zinc do in an EBF? Zinc dust in an EBF. Ah! Hot trinium. I see. This one's cooking up trinium. Trinium and trinium sulfide. So those two are responsible for the triniums. Uh, and then we got trinium... Okay. Okay. We just got too much shit happening over here. We're, we're kind of running at capacity with our EBFs. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Making a lot of shit. Yep. So that uh, uranium rhodium dinoquidide that we've been eating, we've managed mm -hmm. to cook three of them exactly. How long do they take to cook? 30 seconds tops. Thanks. We, it's just the, the intake on the EBF that I chose to put in, um, it, it's full of everything else that's cooking currently. Yeah. Mostly trinium. From all that trinium I used to upgrade these damn things in the first place. <laughs> then did you, uh... Yeah. You added it to the filters too? Yep. Okay. It went in once, but that was before I upgraded the coils. That's when I found out the problem. Well, if we need anything else in here, we're going to need to upgrade to bigger filters. Yes. Okay. Well, great. Yes. So what, what about that uber big EBF? The rotary hearth furnace? Yeah. Can't do it. What? Can't do it. But what? But why? Well, because it, look at it, man. <laughs> We're good. Okay, let me put this. I don't know if we can do it right now because of the materials it takes. Possibly. Uh, I haven't looked at it in a while. But we will need it eventually. I have found a use for it. Oh, like an actual required use of it? Yeah. Oh. So what I'm thinking is when we upgrade all of the, like I want to put all like the circuits and all of that stuff into the big multi-blocks for them. Okay. We're going to need the wafers. And the bools can only be EBF, as far as I know. But we can jam bools into the rotary okay. hearth furnace to nice, nice. Speed that up. Also, it looks like um, the tiny pile of neutrons to cook up into neutronium ingots is a thing. That requires UV with tritanium. Well, coils. yeah. Although we can get neutronium ingots from the tier nine, I think, microminers. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't think we want to waste a nine on neutronium, though. Uh, you can make it with the 
Mark three fusion reactor. Uh, how quickly though? Uh, I don't know. I mean, we only need enough to make the double plates for the tier 10 miner. True. But I'm, I'm my current goal or current task, whatever current quest I'm on is the Mark two reactor. Okay. To get the tri the tritanium for the Mark three reactor. Okay. Okay. It would be neat. If we could get those tonight, but I think we can get the two. I don't know about the three. All right. Um, I'm looking into the Quadria now. Yeah, that's the other one we need. But that one looks to be... Yeah. Uh, a, pain in the ass, and B, going to run into the same problem I had with the uranium, rhodium, etc. Um, mm. In that we don't have any EBFs that, is, that, are, that are able to cook it currently. Or rather, we have the EBFs, but they are so fully loaded doing other things that they are not going to cook anytime soon. can get okay. turned into I'm trying to see do we need an equadria before creative tank yep. well okay. we need it for the neutronium so, so yeah. it's 10 more <laughs> hooray there it is We need ten more. Um, I don't. I don't think I have ten more, but we're very close. Because I think, I think this should be a stack of six. I think we need six more. Pretty sure we need six more. Uh, okay. We're actually gonna get out of this. Uh, so we've got we got three currently. Right. 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 Right now. There we go. We got three currently, uh, and then we've got a fourth one coming, and then we have a stack of thirty-two. If it helps, I guess I don't know how much we want 22. to bare bones it. Or if at all, yeah. but we'll only need 70 buckets of Nequadria for all the Neutronium. 70 buckets of Nequadria? Yep. Okay. So even if you get it coming in at like a trickle over the next like two hours, it could be okay. Uh, interesting. I was, I was kind of hoping that we could just turn the Nequadria dust into the liquid form without having to EBF it, but apparently that's not a thing. Yeah, I don't even think we can... well... Because we can make the Nequadria dust. That's not... I mean, it's not oh, that's pleasant, true. but it's not a huge issue. But turning the Nequadria dust into the liquid form, since you need it in liquid form, but that, that doesn't appear to be a conversion. It has to be EBF'd first get the hot to get the cold to get the liquid which is a really awkward turnaround there all right yeah. so well yeah i guess it depends yeah. which one's easier so we need the chemical like all the large chemical reactor away or making the dust oh i suppose we could do the the reactor okay Let me let me take a peek at that. So Nequadria. Uh, 
Okay, so it looks like there's only two options for Nequadria. And yeah, the, the options are either a Mark III fusion reactor or uh, using a ZPM mixer to get the dust to then e uh, EBF. Okay. It's kind of helping there be an easier answer. Right. Again, we only need 70 buckets full. So if the ZPM mixer for the dust is simpler, quote unquote, that might be fine. Were you aiming for a tier 3 fusion reactor? Because that was what you thought the, th the simpler answer would be? We need the tier 3 fusion reactor to make the neutronium oh. out of those 70 buckets of Nequadria. Ah, uh, okay. So they both need to get done anyway. Right. But um, whether you want to go the chemical processing route or the dust route. When you, when you say chemical processing, what are you talking about? So there's the... You can turn Nequadria sulfate dust into the Nequadria ingot, which then gets cooled. Oh. Nequadria sulfate comes from the acidic Nequadria solution, which then goes from Nequadria solution, from enriched Nequadria waste, etc. Oh, okay. See, I was, only, I was only looking at the dust version instead of the sulfate version. Yeah. I, I went from the ingot backwards. Ah, I see. Because, yeah, I saw you're doing trinium through both the trinium dust version and the trinium yep. sulfate version. Right. Are you actually are miners. you actually mixing up trinium dust, or are you grinding down trinium dust? Uh, we get both the trinium dust and the trinium sulfate dust from the Caymanite ore. Ah, okay. I wasn't sure if oh. we were getting both of those. Okay. Yep. Um. I don't. I don't think the chemical processing method's any easier. No, I don't either. <laughs> I, th I think just. Nequadria dust from various mixed dusts would be easier. Nequadria grain, ground up grains of prescience, vibrancy, and grains of the end. And liquid, liquidified curium and endirium. Do we have curium? Oh yeah. Oh god. Yes. yes. We have. We oh. have. A, we have a little bit of curium. We have a little bit of curium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then endirium is a on little bit of curium. So yeah. that might be the easier way. Yeah, I think so. Um, so let's see, a 70 buckets worth so that is 480 that. ingots. It, it is a little bit. I, need that. It, I mean, it is, but... Ooh, and that ludicrous voltage, it's 20 seconds. Yikes. Yep. Yeah, there is nothing about the end of this pack that is fast. No. Es not especially once they start requiring... LUV and ZPM and UV and those crafting or those cook times are in the in the neighborhood of minute and a half each. It's awful. Yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking, yeah. The once you get the creative tank, while yes, it makes the ingots and the liquids trivial, it then really tests the efficiency and whatnot of your base. It becomes like time management and right. resource management. So the ultimate resource that we require at the end of this pack is time. It, well, is, it is not Nequadria, possibly. it is not Neutronium, it is time. It, time is the one that would be <laughs> working against us. Like in, at the end of PO3, the time was the resource because we just had to wait. All right. To crush down 9,001 blocks of everything into 81 different singularities. Well, yeah. That was time. But that that was a like, time. Yeah. This we can at least speed stuff up to make it all. Yeah, but we can't we can't double the speed of a of a UV recipe like that. That's the we end. Can by slapping down a second UV machine. Okay. Okay. Well, we I mean we could have technically done with that with PO three too. Oh, I don't, okay. At that point, <laughs> the real enemy was lag. Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> Welcome back, Demos. Oh, the Nama Factory is... Yeah, all those animated blocks was just going to kill the server. Uh, yeah. If we, if we doubled or tripled that, get it. 
I don't think the multi blocks that we're chewing through here are doing much better. Oops. I think the thing that's going to help uh, us out a lot uh, is since we'll uh, be able to unplug a lot of the uh, ME network. That and is so true. It, it won't have to like keep doing all these ca calculations and searching for things and. But I think that's yeah. going to be a huge help once we can do that. We just disconnect cables a little bit like from the main line into the machines that they're going to and fix it up that way. Yeah. Okay, so what you what you doing here? You're doing uh, Ilbium Titanium, you're doing Zinc Dust. Uh, you have no... Uranium, Rhodium, Dinoquidide ingot. We have four. Uh, they're not going into the network, they're not going into here, so I missed something over here. What did I miss? I missed auto output. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> uh, how big did the factory get in the last two hours? Uh, let's see. So we added this right here. Um, we added... Uh, I guess a lot of what we did was upgrades. Um, so I upgraded this one to the next, the next tier of blinding light. Um, we upgraded all of the cables down here but we also we, we all we also added a giant glowing orb that I think you missed giant glowing orb because you know that's cool everyone likes a giant glowing orb here and then Oh yeah, and I finished my lasers. I, f I finished adding all the rest of my laser setup. Which I'm sure plays hell on the encoding. I know, I wish I had purple lasers too. The best we can accomplish is red lasers and blue lasers. Um, I do wonder if putting them together makes good colors let's let's find out noises sparkle with a rating party of six hello sparkle and friends sparkle raid raid with a lot of dancing hot dogs civil just sub 33 months hell yeah civil thank you very much Thank you very much. All right, we're gonna we're gonna attempt to make purple lasers by slapping blue and red lasers together, and see if it works. Lasers, lasers. Hey Civil, have you seen the factory? <laughs> or, or rather, when was the last time you saw the factory? Because uh, it's it's gotten redonkulous. All right, so red laser, red laser, blue laser, blue laser, blue laser, red laser. Damn, it doesn't really make a purple laser. Curses. Oh, the last you saw the white structure was an empty shell, you say. Oh, we have some things to cover if you're interested. All right, so this sadly does not work. I attempted to make a purple laser with a red laser and a blue laser, but it didn't work, and I'm sad. Balls. I know. Oh, yeah, it could have been a fun light experiment. I know. I'm sad. Shoot. I was going to slap purple lasers everywhere if this worked. I mean, the, the effect of them merging and clipping is kind of fun. I, it is an interesting effect. Um, I, had a, I had a green one. 
Add a green one, alright. It's, it's trippy. It's doing something. Oddly enough, yeah. this one actually does make yellow. The red and green, yeah. yeah. It kinda does. Eh, sort it kinda of. makes a weird Z fighting yellow orange kind of color. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think there is a tiny hint of purple in there as there the, is, like, the red and blue. Thin but little it's, beam of it. It's yeah. more like a like a really light violet kind of color. Mm-hmm. All right, civil. We'll, we'll get you. A, we'll get you a tour later. Have yourself a good night, civil. Thanks for stopping by. I'm gonna leave this here until we need to tear it down. Because lasers. Although civil, quick look at lasers. This is why Demos was talking about purple lasers, because we got green lasers aplenty. Yeah. Yeah. I know. This is 20 parallel running draconic fusion crafting. 20. Um, I don't know if we can make those yet. We can certainly try. Crystals. Ooh, we could we could make them. We could we could make them. I need to get the blue ones made. I need to get a whipper and core. Oh. Yeah, we don't have any of this shit available. <laughs> I will keep that in mind for later though. Maybe we can make some nifty purple laser de decorations. But yeah, we don't have we don't have any of this stuff. We have, we have a lot of it on autocraft. Uh, we do not have these ones because we don't have any of these available. I think we could theoretically make them. God, that's a hell of a crafting list. All right, let's make one. And that will get me... That will get me... I mean, get me one set of blue lasers, and then I need a whole nother set of four wyvern cores. All right, let's make four more. Oh, well, that didn't take too long. It was already done. Nice. And then we need a crystal binder. And one of these. Oh, did you see that we actually did finally fill the ball? Oh, did we? Oh, yeah. Eh, I forgot how to fly. So that means that we've got... Yep, one, one point, or 2.14 trillion energy. And we are currently keeping it filled. Yep. Nice. Is this the uh, biggest ball? Pretty sure it is. N no. That's a tier 7. Tier 8 is bigger, but it required a lot of awakened draconium. Ah. And I'm going to wait until we get the tank for that. Gotcha. Alright. Laser laser binder. Cr crystal, crystal binder. And then... By a lot, I mean 378 blocks of it. Ah, that'd be fine. Well... Let's just take. Uh, it takes a few things. There's a lot of dedication to making purple lasers. Hey, Gila. Hi. How are you, kitty? What's up, kitty? 
I succeeded at kitty. Okay. Kitty. Kitty. Uh I can I can assure you, Sybil, it is hella cool. It is oh so hella cool. While we wait for that to kick off, what's it gonna take to make lasers? Kind of sort of purpley lasers. It's kind of more of like an indigo blue color. I suppose I probably should put those. What the? Uh, what you got going here? Lasers. Oh yeah. Energy relay crystals. They're not lasing. Do you not see them laze? No. Oh, that's unfortunate. I see no laze. You see no laze. Um. I'm whelmed at best. Here, try that. So shift right click on. Oh, I don't even need to shift right click. As long as I'm holding it, I can see the lasers. Oh, only lasing when holding? Yeah, oh, you see the lasing? I don't see the lasing now. Yeah, see, here, take that. Oh, okay. I, I, I legit thought that those always lazed. I swear I remember them lazing before. Mmm. Huh. Curious. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Okay, so Civil's right. There's um there's a Oh hi Civil. Yes, hi Civil. Um there is a particle beam that shoots between them when there's actual energy transferring. Oh uh, kinda the, like the the pylons in the ball. Yeah yeah. Uh, but that yeah. would require actually having energy flow through them. Sure, yeah. Which would be obnoxious to set up for a, a decorative element. Hmm. <laughs> kinda. Could do it, but it'd be effort. Uh, I may I may have requested too many Wyvern cores. And is that where your efforts should be placed oh, right nope, now? Oh, nope, it started. Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> but have I we did, known I did anyway. to make? Yes, yes I do. Alright, so some of it has started. My, my, my monitor got all wonked. It has, it has begun... We shall we shall laser border it. The uh, unfortunate aspect behind this is uh, the major slowdown. And the reason that they're not running all at once is because making nether stars are kind of a pain in the ass in this pack. Um, so it's only able to do so many at a time. So yeah, they be they be going, they be making things, they be doing stuff. So my one of my next steps that I was gonna do was work on making more nether stars more quickly and efficiently. Um, but we got waylaid with new materials trying to push for the end. Hello, Gila. How are you, kitty? How's the kitty doing? Kitty. Well, yeah, that's fun. That's nice. That's lovely. Another 
Mwah. Mwah. Hi, kitty. How you doing, kitty? We need another some of those. We need another some of each of these things. And we got 32 of her in course. So yeah, um, it, it works pretty dang well. At least this aspect of it works pretty well. Um, the lead up components. Because a, a single, or let's go with let's go with the 32 Draconics, or the Wyverns again. So the 32s requires all of this shit. And more specifically, the harder part of this all is a combination of the empowered, two stacks of empowered palace and a half a stack of emeraldic but also the 576 nether stars, each of which requires uh, a tip, uh, four tips plus a core in the center, which I don't even remember where that's at in the list here. And there, there's that, and then there's the core. So we need to craft five sets of 576 items to be able to get the 576 nether stars. Uh, and that takes just a hell of a lot of chewing time in the AE auto crafting to get that done. So we're going to switch it up to Ender.io crafters um, and then have them in like an X pattern to make all of the different parts and have them crafting together to do the thing. But it just takes a lot of freaking effort. Just so much effort. And uh, I haven't done it yet. But I got my purple lasers now. So that's pretty. Purple lasers. All right, uh, let's go do the thing. Elite mixer. We need fluid export. What was it making again? <laughs> oh yes, Nequadria, yes. So we need Nakwa to dust. We need grains of prescience. Vibrancy and the end plus liquid curium and endurium uh, So we need Probably several more grinders for these things because I don't think we have these things grinded down at the moment uh, Let's take a peek here We have none of that stuff ready. Alright, uh, Nicoadria is going to take a little bit of time and effort. Hmm. Got, we've got the Enderium, but to get the liquid Enderium, uh, we are going to need the actual ingots because you can't liquidize the the powdered form. So we're going to need to we're going to need to liquidize the ingots, and we're going to need to liquidize curium. Uh, and I think it's any brand of curium will do, so that'll be fine. Yeah, any any brand of curium will be fine. Uh, I kind of want to do it just right here. How do how do we get mixed tiers in there? Oh, well that, that would do it for sure. Okay, so let's go with some IV because we need IV um, for stuff. So let's do with uh, elite. We need several elite macerators to get the grains down. So we need grains of prescience, vibrancy, and end. And then we're going to need curium and enderium in extractors. So three elite macerators. Uh, 
and three or two elite extractors. Uh, we are also going to need. Uh, let's go with sixteen amp. I mean, all these are 8 amp. Probably could have gone with a, an 8 amp. But whatever, it's fine. I doth not care. Drawer controller. Basic drawers. Kitty in a ball pit. Kila, do you want treats? Do you want treats, kitty? I think he wants treats. Yeah, ma. Ma ra. Yes, ma come on. I'm gonna burb. Okie dokie. He was having a hard time with the, the the concept of pets versus treats. Oh God, Blade! No, no, we're we're still trying to push for the uh, the creative liquid aspect of it, which is turning into a bit of a pain. All right, so let's uh. converter. I only have one extractor. What's, what's taking so long? What's taking so long? IV electric pump is stuck. Oh. Interesting. We'll have to go take a look at that. That's most likely his new setup for assembly lines and it might have been missed or broken or something. But we also should have a uh, macerator. Possible issue? Oh, why, no. why, why you were gone? Oh god. Uh, IV electric pump is still stuck at crafting. Uh huh. I'm assuming something went wrong with that. IV pumps? Yeah. I mean, possibly. IV pumps aren't in the assembly line, so I don't know where they're even being made. No. Oh. LUV and above are. Uh, 
Interesting. Why the hell would that break then? see IV pumps stuck in the crafting computers. That's because I just killed one. Oh, okay. I killed the job and then restarted it, and then it uh, had to recraft up a whole bunch of subcomponents that it thought it had before. So something went wrong with its uh, resource sharing. Probably uh, another job grabbed him before it thought it had it stored or something. Probably. Yeah. Alright, so let's do... Doodly doodly doo doo doo. Now the ZPM mixer. Uh, do we need? We needed a ZPM mixer for that, right? Uh, LUV, but whatever. So we'll throw this ZPM mixer over there. Uh, let's just do that. Where we've got ZPM shit going on. It did get finished blade, so I guess you probably want the uh, you want to you want an overview, don't you? Because I don't think you were here last time, or at least not for all of it. Okay, so ore processing line. Here, let me get uh, this out of my pocket. All right, so ore processing line. So we got we got the we got the ore drill intake. I can come here, and then we got the uh, energy st or the, the ore deck storage bus to draw all the ores in here. We got a few of the um, chemical processing machines for the the initial uh, double or the dense ores, I believe. And then we've got everything going down this away. We got the uh, Maceration towers, chemical bath, another chemical bath. Uh, you mean here? All ore, or dense ore. And I think that was just because ore or star was only getting like ore copper or iron and then dense ore has its own initial starting point as well oh oh um this is the ore drill that is currently handled by a dimensional transceiver so uh ore drill items going through oh here god you're going to kill it i'm trying to kill it oh okay And by oh. killing it, I mean you're just gonna force it to run. Oh right, yes. Yeah. I mean, I'm I trying I to win, Blue Hill. I'm trying. Like death. I mean, yeah, kinda. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, then we get the we got all this stuff, chemical. We got the PTFE fluid pipes going over this way to this thing. The centrifuges. This one is the um, the electrolysis plant. More chemical, more centrifuging. Uh, this one is the fractioning, fractionating distillery macerator. Uh, this one is the sifting funnel centrifuge macerator electromagnet centrifuge packaging machine. So this handles all the small bits, as you can see here. And then, because we didn't have enough room, we uh, we went item pipe all the way under here. I actually really like this part. It just it's just got a nice little industrial feel to it. 
go into this side of the building. Where we've got double stack centrifuges to handle all of the, the stuff. And then uh, another, mi another mixer, another centrifuge, another chem bath, uh, another electrolysis plant, and then finally the, uh, the whatchamacallit, the multi-smelter to smelt up the final ingots. And then this is uh, an autoclave to turn the, uh, the gem dusts into gems like diamonds and emeralds and whatnot. So this is the, this is the full setup, like the whole, the whole damn thing and everything in here gets imported. Uh, yes, double stacked without sharing blocks. Oh, yep. shoot. Okay, we need 72 buckets of Nequadria, which means... Or 482 ingots. Apparently I need two ingots for uh, the Mark II fusion reactor computer. Okay. Um, partly Blade, because I totally forgot we could do that, and partly because... Um, I, I didn't. We didn't plan for a double stack. We originally planned for a single, uh, a single centrifuge, but we didn't realize it was going to get so damn overloaded. So then we just slapped another one on top. There. Although, other than that, there is no particular reason. But yeah, all these are running on the master parallel hatches for 16x, um, and they are. An absolute power hog. The whole the whole setup, even running a, a small chunk of ore takes up about a million RF a tick total, um, and that's with it running kind of in sequence. Um, so you know, an ore comes in through here and it chews up in the first couple machines almost instantly. Um, so only a handful of these machines are actually on at any given moment while a stack of ore is going through. Um, I don't think we've ever put it under solid load yet. I'm kind of curious to put it under more load to see what happens. But you can see how fast it goes through. Like, I pulled that switch and the packager was already running to package up stuff. Um, so yeah, it, it goes through really fast. Uh, and then to check our power usage, I'm going to come up here to one of these things. We're currently running 4.1 million R of a tick. I don't know what's running right now. I have no freaking clue. Um, I would guess that a good chunk of that is coming from... We got a half a million in the chicken house. We got um, uh, almost 400,000 in the, in the lab building, which is this building that we're in right now. Um, we've got machine room running at a quarter of a million. EBF, the EBF floor is taking three and a half million. Oh, good God. Okay. Uh, turns out our EBF floor takes up a lot more power than I thought. That's oh, running yeah? at, it's running at three and a half million currently. Nice. Yeah. That's, that's okay. Just the EBFs in the freezers. Not a problem. Ah, fell through the hole. Fell through a hole. Yeah. Also, Blade, this is a... Uh, this is Pine's assembly assembly line setup. And then this is my uh, my Draconic fusion crafting setup that I'm very proud of. So yeah, we've we've done a little bit of extra stuff. Let me, let me know if you want more info on these. I don't know strictly how these are working. <laughs> I, I literally just tried to make these all go at the same time and it didn't work out according to plan. Um, but let's see if we can start that. Um, uh, we need to make a lot of these. Because to, to get it going all at once, we need to make a bunch of wyvern cores. And to get those going, we need... 576 nether stars and 218 or two, 128 of these things. So let's craft those up first because then we can get all these running at once because that's nice. 
So this is this is that. Nether stars. A lot, please. Because it takes forever to start up the uh, all the sub component auto crafting first before you can get it moving. And then what else is needed? Uh, emeratic stuff. Let's do some of those. All right, we'll let that stuff cook up for a little bit while I work on my, uh, my thing. Okay, so we are doing these things. Uh, I need grains, I need crystals. So we need um, grains of vibrancy. Uh, we need grains of the end and grains of prescience. Alright, so it's going to take a little bit to craft. Uh, and then we also need enderium. And we need curium. I don't know which curium I'm going to use for this. Uh, I don't think it particularly matters, but let's go with this one because we have the most of it. And since we do have a roughly equal amount of it, I could potentially split it in half. And eh, I don't really have an easy way to do that. It'll be fine. Okay, so these are extractors. We're going to be doing... I'm going to be doing two fluid storage buses on these things. Because I don't feel like doing a big... Uh, big tank or anything like that. So we're going to do those storage buses, we're going to do Enderium and Curium. And you can be the Vibrant. Wow, these are, these are not fast at all. These Ender Crystals stopped happening altogether when the pressure crystals came through. I wonder if uh, something's up with that. Greens of the end, prescience, and the vibrant. Okay. Alright, now for the rest of the Nequadra, we just need Nakuda Dust. Which is going to be here. Alright, so Prescient's almost done. The Ender should be able to kick in after that. We only have one machine making these currently, which is probably going to have to be changed. Uh, did you just stop entirely? Is that what's going on here? Oh, no, it didn't stop entirely. It's currently making the Vibrant Crystals next. going because it's got to make the vibrant crystals before it can make the ender crystals that's what's happening got it yeah we might need to boost this up a bit okay um 
Still making up a bunch of nether stars. Okay. Not a fast process. Uh, so, along with the nether stars, I think I need to make more of these things too. Um, probably more forceful crafting. I did. I did make room for this to expect them to come through. Interesting. <laughs> All right. I think I see what he was going for, but I don't think that was necessary. We were just trying like everything to try to figure out why the automation wasn't working. Um, and I'm pretty sure the answer to that was it was being stupid. No, it was, um, it didn't understand the difference between a soul vial and an empty soul vial. It just had no, it, it didn't understand and it wasn't dealing with the MBT data. So uh, it just, it was failing miserably. Okay, so we got a stack of those. Okay, so we got the stuff that we need to make it all happen. Did, uh, there. <laughs> I forgot where I was going for a second there. Okay, so over here, we've got Vibrant, Prescient, Ender, So we got all these things happening. This one's gonna fill up no problem. This one's gonna take a little bit more time. Ah, uh, oh, um, hmm, ah. Uh. Stop. So, one problem that I didn't consider is how many ingots goes into 64 buckets of liquid? Um, and I had this problem earlier, and I didn't think of it with the Enderium because we've been, we've been fine on Enderium, but we're not fine on Enderium. We have we have 4,000 4, Enderium. It might take that much to fill up this thing. It, it probably won't, but still. Um, right, let, me, let me see if we can do a quick math, because I don't know how many ingots goes into 64 buckets. Uh, divided by 144. 444 ingots goes into 64 buckets of of liquid. So that's what one what one would call excessive. 
So let's, uh, I don't know, I don't have a way to limit that, though. Like, we don't have a way to, to trim down the internal buffer on this thing. I don't know how to solve that problem, actually. Okay, so, uh, we'll, we'll solve that problem in a bit. But we need grains of the end, grains of prescience, and grains of vibrancy. Schloopity doopity doo. crafting cards. So that they can request more as needed. It's all happening. Uh, we are still going to need to solve the problem of having more of these available at any given time. But it's fine for now, so now we need to take one of each of those to go into an Aquadria Dust. Oh, we need four Vibrancy. Okay. Great. Love it. And then we got my two Naquata and Curium and Enderium. That's the other problem, is that we've got a... Empty. Question. Alright. Uh, do you have anywhere importing and or exporting uh, liquid uh, Enderium for a purpose? Yep. Uh, import? No, not anymore. Oh, well, yes. 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 There yes. It It'll fill up, though, very quickly, because it's a ULV input hatch. Okay. So if you're wondering where your yours is all going, that's where, and it will back up. Okay. Quick. Um, because I, I did, like, two stacks of Enderium ingots, and all of that liquid disappeared. And I needed it to not disappear. <laughs> yeah, it'll come. It'll it'll back up. Don't worry. Is that something that gets used often enough? Nope. Oh, okay. Okay. Right, well, let's um turn it on. Body mouse. It's the um. Two of the new assembly lines have it. Like ah. the, I think it's the various world accelerators require it, so okay. we're not going to be making those anytime soon, slash and or at all. Okay. So. Well, I, I, I'm so I'm doing a, an extractor for Enderium because I need it for the Nequadria, mm -hmm. and uh, I did the math on uh, 440 something ingots required to fill up the buffer on that. So I'm not yeah. gonna do, I'm not going to do a tank or anything like that. Okay. Uh, I was a little bit concerned at first that it was just disappearing. So if your sure. if your buffer is gonna fill, then I don't need to worry about it. It'll fill. Okay. So now we go here. The quadria. Uh, grains. Need in one more grains, bucket, they'll be full. Grains. Oh. Okie dokie. Worry not. <laughs> All right, so you go, you go there. Capacity card, because uh, we're gonna need Enderium and Curium, and then those things, and then the robot arm. Two. Import. Let's 
got the things. Okay, good. Uh, and then we need to wrench you, wrench you downward. And we need to auto out you. That shit can go in the network. This can also go in the network. And then I just need the cables. So you can get your liquids. This has a 16 liter input, so that's going to take a little bit. And we now have Naquadria dust coming in. And now power. And now power. Uh, hmm. This is the second time tonight that I have burned out the power on these conduits. Huh? I'm I'm in the ore processing room in the dust floor, making things, and I have I have used all of the power available through the conduit the signalum conduits again. So, I need to upgrade another room. Yep. Seems like it. Signal is no longer good enough. It is no longer valid. Um, so, in this ore processing room, it is no longer ore processing. No, it is not. So, I don't really need to do the top two floors, right? You do not. At least not at the moment. Right. The one thing that is running, which whatever well sort of um for wrought iron when we fall below a certain level i have this thing pumping oh okay. iron into the blast smelter uh do you want to set that up to happen over at the end of the ore processing line yeah i can because otherwise i've i've got um wrought iron going on the iv wall yeah so i, I was thinking because it's needed well See how much rod iron are we up to? 85. Okay, you a can lot. probably. Yeah, a lot. So the IV wall is just going. So this might not right. even be needed. Yeah, probably not. Because, yeah, I had to set for when it falls below 30,000 to just dump iron into it. Okay. And it. Because it runs very fast. Okay, okay. But it doesn't matter. If you're doing it elsewhere, that's cool. I am indeed. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the dust floor then in cables. Okay. Oh, so much going on. Draconics, please. More. All of the more. So I'm, I'm now using all of the Draconium, which is a problem because that stuff takes forever to cook, too. Again, gotta stop doing that. Oh. Yep, okay. Okay. 
that wasn't so bad. Because we're doing just one floor instead of a zillion. So that's fine. So this is all happening. Uh, it's not terribly quick. Uh, these have a limit of 32 stacks. So these are gonna these are gonna limit themselves eventually. It's gonna take some time and effort to finish it, but whatever. We've got enough for now. These are happening. This is happening. That buffer is not filling at all. Oh god. Fine. This buffer will fill, then that buffer will fill. So we have 13 in the quadria. Alright, uh, the next crisis to solve is this crisis. This crisis is constantly cooking trinium and Ruridit. So I do believe... Uh, I, do, I do believe... I do believe I don't know what's going on. Uh, what's... Yeah, so both of these are happening because Trinium got burned to hell from my upgrading of this thing right here. Uh, which is unfortunate because I might need to move those off of there and onto this one, which then would need to be upgraded. Um, but I don't, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do that. Um, okay, uh, so we have. 292 uranium rhodium dinoquidide ingots. Uh, so they they did manage to get in there and get cooked eventually. Um, but we got we got some more room. I mean I can I can slap one here or something, but that's not really gonna work too terribly well. Um, I pretty much have to put it here. So we're gonna put it here for now. And we're gonna just slap it into the filters. Shit, we can't slap it in the filters. Uh, there's no room for it. There's no room for it anyway. Um, I, I I have a conundrum again. You have what? I have a conundrum again. How how do you propose we solve the? Uh, the lack of EBF problem. For the Nequadria? Yeah, because we need we need Argon with the Trinium Coil, and this is the one I set up for that. I could swap it back to use this one instead, because this one's just burning through Trinium nonstop, but ultimately they both end up getting blasted with needs for various alloys. Yeah, this one's got the niobium titanium as well, which is very uh right. frequently used. Right. And on top of that it's out of filters. So either way it, something needs to get done. You could also just slap down an EBS here. Yeah, I was kinda looking forward to not building another EBF. Um, That's fair. In that case, yeah, you can add her over here. What is this? Not quite an Yeah, alloy? but then That's I'd whatever. need to do more trinium coil blocks again, which is like a half hour plus process. Okay, then take everything out of this, out of these <laughs> two, and then just dedicate this one because we need the Nequadria. We do. Um, all right, I can do that a little bit. Or not take the filter out, but change the filter, or put a new filter in rather than plonk that one down somewhere. Okay. That way we don't have to reset it. Alright, filter. Nothing. The quadria. Take it. Alright, so you're gonna finish cooking the niobium titanium, which is gonna take some some, some effort. Uh, so you... Niobium titanium needs to go down somewhere. And we will do that through an interface.
from the Caladria. Uh, so we just need to up this filter a little bit. So this is dedicated to Nequadria now. I hope. Argon. Circuit. Nequadria. Yeah. Argon. Nequadria. ZPM LUV ZPM I see so that means we need to we need to up the voltage uh, all right cool well that's gonna speed up the rest of the process anyway so that's good uh, so we need we need ZPM uh, that means we need IV hatch we need LUV hatch No more kitties. Oh, hi, I'm back. Thanks, Midnight. Uh, energy hatch. Okay. Okay. keep forgetting the the different power tiers uh, power power tiers power tiers this pack makes me cry power tiers no So we've got UV So we got we got IV and then LUV and then ZPM Pretty sure. So if I did a ZPM converter, that would last us for a little bit, right? <coughs> so ZPM hatches and then a 4 amp ZPM energy converter. ZPM energy hatch to check. Zero point module voltage coil. I see you did not automate the ZPM voltage coils. Ah, uh, nope. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, cause they weren't in the assembly line, maybe. No, but you made you made uh, ZPM energy hatches for your assembly line, right? So you made a whole bunch of ZPM energy hatches. That's true. But you did not automate the thingy to make the ZPM energy hatches. That is true. God damn it! I was all ready to go make ZPM energy hatches because I need it for the the EBF. Yeah, you're not wrong. <sighs> yeah, yeah, you're right to feel that way. Do we do we have a spot where I can automate that? Uh, I think so. Doing the fucking clean room. <laughs> uh, elite assembly machine. We have a couple elite assembly machines ready to go for various purposes. 
so you are that one, you are that one, and you are that one. Alright, uh, so we're gonna just, uh, we're just gonna make a pattern. We're gonna make a pattern right here, right here. For this thing. ZPM energy hatch. Two of them, please. Do it. I right, just want to make sure that this works with the, uh, the doodad. And I also... So that, that's working with the doodad, which is great. Uh, I also want to make one of these. Just to make sure it works. Um, with that chip in there, because I don't know if I'm pretty sure it doesn't work or works without the chip in there, but never know. It might not work with the chip in there. It does work with the chip in there. Good, good. Good, good, good. Okay. So that's, that's that. Alright. We have a ZPM energy hatch. We have a second ZPM energy hatch. Uh, we need uh, a couple 4 amp wires. I think we need a couple more. Let's go and we can go down to here. <laughs> All right, so you guys are going. Interesting. Okay, so that's all done, I guess. He limited to 250. Pretty sure I had that set to a thousand, so I'm pretty sure he did that. Which is fine. It's fine. Alright, so uh, you can come down. We have our first uh, UV EBF for making the uh, the Naquadria. Nice. I think the problem now is uh, the one soul binder. Uh, yeah, I was just thinking about that. Um, it, it is not fast. It's not going to be fast. Right. Soul binder and the um, Nether Stars are both a serious time sink. Yeah. Hey Blade, are you around still? I think we're... I think we might be ready to run this thing at full speed. We almost have one soul binder per recipe. I think it needs to be more than that. Well, I mean, certainly at least for right now, because... Like, when you're grinding up those crystals, only one of the crystals can go. Right. Hey Blade, are you available? I 
do like these crystals though. They're very pretty. Oh. Okay, never mind. Yeah, pretty. Blade is currently not available. Yay. Yay. We use two of them. Okay. Uh, what was I gonna make? Find your uh, find uranium rhodium dinoquidide wire, and I don't think I have the recipe for that. So let's make the recipe for that. Let me in. Um, fine wires. Yeah, I don't have the recipe for that. Um, fine. <laughs> it's so damn dark. <laughs> that one. This one. Right here. Recipe. Recipe. BBM. Recipe. And I'm gonna make a thing with the uh, the uranium rhodium dinoquidide. Ah, oh, the field generator? Yeah. Nice. Because that's gonna be a tier 8. 22 of them. Yep. Something, something's up with this. It is not requesting autocraft like it should be. I don't know what's causing it, but it stopped working. It was working, as you can see. There's a whole bunch in there, but something stopped with this draconium tier seven. And I, I ran through. I requested four of them. I can tell it to make four of them and run four of them, but it just kind of stops after that. Uh, I don't know exactly what the cause of that is. That's still crafting all of its subcomponents. Tier 5 is being requested right now. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, we still have a network that's chewing on itself. The uh, tier 3 or tier 5 micro miner was requested at some point and it's just it's on 6 hours plus now nice and for whatever reason the, uh, the tier 7 is no longer auto requesting itself I noticed that at the beginning of the night and it hasn't fixed itself since We have all the components needed to make it. It's just not requesting it to be made available in the ME interface. And I don't know what that's about. Ah, uh, let's see. What if I uh, took out the card briefly and put the card back in? Maybe that'll help. I think our network has just become untenable. It, I, it, it doesn't... It takes too long for it to figure out what to do with itself. We just got too much network going on here. <laughs> oh, ah, I was gonna put that somewhere. Let's uh, dip. Let's put it right there.
Alright, so you're still doing the quadria. You guys are still going. BRB. Alright. Okay, back. Welcome. Uh, 
Uh, could you take a look at the paused recipe for the tier 5 and see if you can figure out why it's pausing? Yep. Now I know exactly why. Oh. Why? The vibrant thrusters need those crystals that are stuck in the soul binding. Ah. So until the soul binding gets sped up or moved along, it's just going to smash. Yeah. Looks like we need a couple more soul binders. We sure do. Looks like we need more solarium. We sure might. That's on autocraft. Or request, rather. Yeah, except... It didn't. Because there's no solarium plate recipe, because I never set one, because I didn't think that the uh, soul binder was going to be that critical. Yeah, me neither. I'm like, we probably only need the one. Yep. Little did we know. Oh god, it's running constantly. Thank you, Midnight. Hydration is important. Okay, so we need solarium. So solarium. Solarium. So many friggin' plates. So many plates. Oh shit. We got three. We got two completely full uh, interface machines and a, a few extras. And a normal interface machine can't even handle four rows like this. It can only handle nine recipes. So imagine if we needed, uh, what was that, nine friggin' interfaces to be able to handle this process? This is, would be not feasible at all. Um, okay, so then we can make soul binders. We're missing the soul machine chassis because of course we are. Uh, the soul machine chassis is alloy smelter with dusted solarium. We do have dusted solarium. We do not have any access. Okie dokie. Um, cool. Cool. Right, so let's request more. And I'm going to need to dust some of that. I think, uh, I think lack of hydration is probably behind at least some of my headaches. Uh, and definitely not all of them, but I think some of my headaches are just definitely from lack of hydration, because I'm awful at that.
We both need to get better at hydrating for sure. Good thing we have hydration buttons and people that'll push the button for us. Soul binders, okay. So we got soul binders. Crafters. We're gonna do we're gonna do some automation. What you uh, what you working on? Um, I am waiting for the final bits of the fusion reactor Mark II to be completed. Um, fortunately, some of that is reliant upon your soul binding. Ah, see, well, I happen to be working on that. Great. Because I need um, Naquada alloy. Okay. And we're low on trinium dust for that. I can't request more drones. Because uh, the tier 5 drones need those crystals. Sounds like a whole lot of, a lot of stuff going on. Does, doesn't it? Couple of bottlenecks. Okay. So, let's do some things. Howdy, Kinder. How you doing? Alright, I'm gonna take this. Slap of that there. So we need conduits. You can always be an extract. The rest of those can stay. I'll be fine. Oh, I'm still feeling under the weather enough to call in. That's unfortunate, kinder.
Okay, so first off, uh, vibrant, vibrant crystal request. Right, wrong button. I need prescient crystal. Prescient crystal request. Okay, so that's happening. Um, we need... We need more, we need more conduits. Item conduits. Okay, so we need, uh, we need, we need slapper, 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 slapper. Vibrant crystals are being made in an autoclave. Okay. Uh, so I'm working on the soul binder bit. Are you able to work on the vibrant crystals speeding up? Because those are currently hella slow. Well, those are done in the soul binder. No, the vibrant crystals are auto autoclaved, and you automated those elsewhere. Or I automated. Oh. They automated okay. somewhere. I don't remember yep. where they got automated. Yep, I'll take a look. Okay. Prescient, enticing, tender. Uh, so this. I'm trying to figure out how to how to get uh, this guy. Do we need this guy? Flight control unit. Why, yes. Yes, we do. A lot of them. Okay. Well, you're gonna get your own separate little standalone spot then. I mean, what do you mean it's hella slow? There's 256 sitting here. Yeah, and for every ender crystal, we need one of those. Uh -huh. uh, and if you take out 256, it's one per second, roughly, which is under the hella slow category. Okay. All right, so you are prescient crystals. You can go there. do then is I might do push down and you are going to be enticing and you are going to be ender Ah, right. I need uh, I need these.
Where are these ender crystals going? Because they are not leaving here at all. That's exactly what's happening. Okay. Uh, so we need to do a couple things. I, I did not... Uh, should I have a stockpile or do it on a request? Um, if it can be done fast, request is fine. If it's going to remain slow in some way or another, then probably stockpile. Define slow. Uh, if it's more, if it's a second or more per crystal, then it needs a stockpile. leave myself enough room to deal with this. This is unfortunate. Uh, hmm. Hmm. There we go. Okay, so you can be extract soul vial. So we need filters. Oh, meow. Hi, kitty. Uh, so you can be push down. You can be push down. And I need your soul vials for filtering. Right, they are now made at six ticks per. Nuts. Hello, Kitty. How are you, Kitty? Oh, is that not working? Oh, I don't have anywhere to put them. Oh, all right, um, you. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's a little weird, kinder. Um, I'm I'm curious about that because I don't remember that being a thing. I I don't think I tried it myself, so I couldn't say for sure. But uh, I definitely don't remember it being a thing.
my Naquadria request is not working. Uh, let me take a look at that quick. Gila, what do you think you're doing, sir? What, what are you doing? There's, there's nothing up there for you except for a bucket of treats, and I know that's what you want, but you can't. Ah, needing another program for the quest, I see. Hmm. Prescient crystals are not being made available here. Prescient crystals. Okay, well, in that case then, uh, we're just going to do, we're going to do auto crafting. Um, prescient crystal is shulker and vibrant. Uh, shulker and vibrant. These are not, these are not fantastic. Uh, the in, the in and out on these machines is not the best in the world, but it'll do for now. Uh, enticing an ender, I think, is the only other one I want for now. And that one is Enderman and Vibrant. experience here. Why is the experience not coming through? You know what? I'm going back here. So why are you not getting your experience? Ah, because that got blocked somehow. That'll do it.
Alright, it's not the best because these soul binders are not the not the most brilliant machines in the world. Uh, but we do have the various crystals going on auto craft and crafting up to a supply because these are slow. Nice. Good, good, good. Still running into weird, weird auto crafting and network issues. Uh, like for example, the the Nequadria process going on over here. It is not getting the crystals added to the interfaces. And I don't know why that is. Hmm. Interesting. So like the ender crystals that I just finished automating that we have quite a few of um, are not going into this interface so that they can't then make the dust for the Nequadria. Is it the like the dead slot issue that we were seeing before? No, well, it could be, but I tried a couple slots already. Not one of them worked. Yeah, I guess we're we're getting random dead slots. Oh, prescient. Prescient crystals. Which which one is gonna work? That one. That one's gonna work. Okay, so now these are working. And that means that the Nequadria can work. The Quadria's working just fine. Okay, so now we do uh, Nether Stars. Out my face. Out my face. Out my face. Alright, so now we do nether stars. We're gonna do it right here. So, nether stars. You haven't done nether stars yet, have you? No. Okay, I'm doing that now. Okay. Okay, so, nether stars. Nether stars are made out of core. Uh, star tip east south etc etc um, and then all of those get crafted together in the center through doodad uh, nether star so we need five items we need we need five in a shape I'm gonna start I don't know right there fine we need five in a shape And then these are going to be making the things. So we need more. Uh, da, 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 da. Capacitor, right. Um, we'll just do regular compressed capacitors because they'll probably be fine. Because these these machines already craft quick. Oh, sweet mother of God. I did something wrong. I don't know what I did wrong. Oh, God. Take a look at the, uh, take a look at the crafting status. Why are there so many crystals? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, God. Well, let me Someone's fix that. Someone's got some splaining to do. All right, I'm fixing it. I'm fixing it. I went to I went to craft something and there was no no CPUs available. I'm like, oh god, what happened? 
<laughs> you happened. It did happen. I think I know what triggered that too. I was trying to figure out which slot was actually going to work for the interfaces, so I just put a stack of 64 in each of the slots on, a, on a, an interface, and it, I think it took that as a cue to request a stack of 64 for each slot in the interface. Uh, possibly. Because God forbid it, requ it requests the thing that I wanted to request but it decides wholeheartedly to uh, request the things that I don't want it to request. I still can't get it to request uh, the tier 7s. That's interesting. I wonder what happened there. Not a damn clue. Then we take uh, the the recipes. We slap them in here, and then we got to figure out how to do the rest of it. crafter now for each of these we just need uh, nether quartz and then the various othium dusts so I think we'll do that um, eh, eh. I think we'll do that through an interface and that can just be an interface stuffed in the back Um, so for each of these, we need nether quartz and then an othium. So nether quartz. And then we need the othium dusts. Lots of them. Uh, this is where it might be beneficial to have a crafter. For each one of these, maybe? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, the core is rods directly and a block of luminescence. Block of luminescence, I think we have an auto craft, yeah. So that'll that'll be fine. Um, the the various rods are being auto crafted, or they're being uh, provided by the DML, so we don't need to worry about that. Uh, so you actually, I think you need to go back a block. Yeah, this is gonna be this is gonna be an interesting build. All right, we're doing it though. So we need more item conduits. Uh, I don't think I've I don't think I've planned how to get power into the center there though. That's unfortunate. Uh, that means that this whole thing I think needs to scoot forward a block.
All right, so we're doing we're doing this. block forward. I'm probably just trying to do this in a shape that I don't need to do in a shape. Um, I'm probably making this more complex on myself than it needs to be. Because ultimately what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to have the final shape be the nether star. But I need to be able to power the center block, which can only be done from the front or from the back. Um, so I could have power running through the back. And then come in power coming in through here. Interesting. Must have missed those. Fair enough. Um, but then power coming through back won't let me power these ones. Hmm. So in that case, then how about how about we do this a different way? And with all these. And then you... Okay. Let's do some uh, conduiting. gonna do I, I'm gonna have to reconfigure these anyways but whatever it's fine uh, we're gonna do conduits at the back for power we're gonna go too deep with these Too deep and then too deep. So that that should be what we need. We need a handful of drawers. Probably enough. I'm trying to I'm trying to parse this out in my head as we go here. Uh, we need an interface, and just for simplicity's sake, let's slap you right there. And you are going to need nether, or, uh, nether quartz first. All right, so let's uh, let's clear out these recipes quick. could have stayed but that's fine um, so let's let's work backwards here uh, let's make sure we can power these the drawers the drawers are making these impossible to power curses I guess I could draw out the front Or I can draw in the bottom. Front would be easier. Yeah, let's do front. Okay, so let's get the recipes in here. So nether, nether star tip west. And that's going to be cryothium. Uh, we need a uh, nether star tip east. And that's going to be pyrothium. Uh, 
Uh, we need the nether star tip north. And that's aerothium. And then we need the nether star tip south. Which is petrothium. Uh, and then we need the core. Which technically doesn't really need a crafting block. Do you have any uh, draconium there. super energy conductor thingers in your pocket? I do not. Okay. Something's not working with the crafting for those. Hmm. System reported three draconium energy conduit available, but couldn't extract anything. Well, interesting. Mm. You know what? This is the same problem I had earlier. Um, when I was talking about the the tier five micro miner that wouldn't craft, it keeps pending on the energetic alloy energy conduit. And I just tried to craft up some Draconium energy conduits, and that one's just sitting there doing nothing. Yeah. Huh. Yes. Uh, so this one's probably not needed. We might actually need... Might actually need a second interface back there. Just because of the quantity of items we'll be dealing with. Um, but let's let's see how this all goes. I might even need a separate uh, interface on top of each one of those. Just because the throughput of nether quartz might be too much to handle for one. But we'll, we'll try it the conduit method first. So these ones need the nether quartz and they need the othiums. Oh yeah, we're going to need a separate conduit for, or a, a separate interface for each one of these ones on top here because they just require too damn many parts. Um, so let's do... Let's do the flat ones. I think those will be fun, more fun to look at in this build here. And they're easier to get to the machines when they're flat like this. Uh, so we need... Blizz... Oops. I just, I just spooked it up. Uh, we need Liz, Redstone, Snowball. Liz, Redstone, Snowball. Uh, we need... I need to stop going in those machines. Uh, we need Blaze, Redstone, Sulfur. And then we need Blitz, Redstone, and Saltpeter. Oh. Figure that out. Oh? Yeah, come look at the come look in the machine room. Check out the nun assembler. Uh-oh. Ah. Something has gone horribly wrong. Something has gone horribly awry. <laughs> uh, none of those things are supposed to be in there. No. <laughs> that would explain the IV pump issue from earlier, as well as all of our conduiting. What, yeah. the, what the hell? That... Uh, how? None, none of these recipes require saws. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, now it can now it can chunk through no problem. But, 
But how though? Okay. Iron plate chest, crafting table chest, spruce planks. That was actually what was holding up the uh, tier five miner too. And yep. probably what was holding up the seven because that needs things too. Yep, most likely. So, there we go. I'm double checking to see if there's any of these recipes that need a saw. Yeah, I have to figure out how that happened. No, no, no. Nada. Um, I have I have no freaking clue. Hmm. Okay. There's also a saw and a wood slab in this machine too, next to it. Oh. The fuck? That one doesn't even have any recipes. Oh well, no, it does. I wonder if one of the recipes got borked with an update and now it's like passing the wrong items. That could be. Gonna need to request every item in that uh, in that recipe list to see which one it is. Second craft, all right. Um, let's queue up a bunch of pumps then. Literally none of the recipes caused that problem. I just tried all of them. Nah, something's not right. Yeah, and there are, there are no other conduits piping into those machines, so there's no way that they could have received those items. Something definitely is not right. Yeah, what the fuck. Okay. We help. At least we've solved the question. Um, we have not figured out why it all happened, but at least our auto crafting can work again. Nope. Give. Give. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Um. this I did not finish this okay so we need the um, petrothium dust which means we need the basals powder redstone and obsidian dust
All right, now each of these needs to be configured to pull from the top. Uh, and then push this away. Eh, let's not do a push. I, I think push might be bad. I think if we pull from the other machines, it'll be fine. Um, so pull from the top. Pull from the top. Pull from the top. Now these can have these recipes, and these will be um, pull from the back. Uh, now, what I might do here is I might, uh, well, try to figure out how to get these items all moving. Because um, first off, these need to be powered, so they're going to need conduits on the bottom. Right, I'm going to BRB quick. Okay. Yep, so those are all going to need that. These ones are all getting conduit from the back. So what I'm trying to figure out is I'm trying to figure out how to get um, these five items into the next crafter. And I think I'm going to have to uh, do more conduiting. I was trying to get them all to feed into the center, but that was that was not happening. So. That's not going to happen. I'm trying to think of a different way to do this. Conduits, I think, are going to be our best friends here. Um, but I think all of these are going to be the subcomponents for another star. So then we can have another crafter doing another star craft. And then another drawer. More hydration. Yes, my brain. My poor my poor brain is uh, is it is it wrinkling or is it de-wrinkling because of lack of water? Either way, the the number of wrinkles is incorrect. Okay, so let's do uh, an interface on the back of this. Oops, I have I have interfaces. We need another interface here for all of this crap. I think it might be raining outside. Hang on. I heard what sounded like rain, but it could also be just gizmo back here poking and stuff. It's hard to tell. Okay, so we need another star. Blizz, Blaze, Basals, and Blizz, plus the block of luminescence. And then we need you to be set to pull from the top. You ended up being not worth doing. Alright, so cable. Cably, cably, cably. Cably. Cable. Oh, that, that pole method. Okay. Okay, hi. That pole method is not fast. Oh dear. Uh, okay. That 
pull methods, not fast at all. Cool. Uh, that means that we are then going to need different conduiting method or different different item piping methods, because um, that's that's not cool. And that's basically the same problem I had over here with these guys, is that they're just so slow to pull items. Fusion Mark, Fusion Reactor Mark Two is on and running. Oh sweet! Well, we'll see. Pretty much like the first one, except pink-ish. Oh yeah, that's pinkish. Nice, I like it. Yeah. Now to find which output hatch the tritanium <laughs> is coming out of. Yep. Ah, back here. That one. Yeah, that one for some reason. Cool. Gonna have a little uh gonna have a little overhang over the road here. Yeah, it didn't quite fit. <laughs> it's okay. Just just uh slap a, a decorative veranda off the side of it or something <laughs> <laughs> nice white picket fence yeah yeah a bit of an awning okay so since item conduiting is very slow um, I'm going to need a different method uh, so that means Unfortunately, that means I need to take these down and reconfigure. Um, so let's do that. Oh, oh god. Into fire? What uh, did you do? I, I, into fire. Huh? I into fired. We're just gonna have to go this route. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. This is um, it's not turning out how I wanted it to turn out. Uh, I need to move this. A ski mask with a three foot long beard and a pair of swim gloves that make your hands look webbed. Alright, yep, that feels like that might be grasping a little bit. Alright, so what if we do this and then wrench them so that they can only interfere with each other? 
Okay, so we need, yeah, so let's Blizz, Redstone, Snowball. Blaze, Redstone, Sulfur. Blitz, Redstone, Saltpeter. I'm missing a Saltpeter. Oh, there, there it is. Uh, Blitz, Redstone, Saltpeter. And then Basals, Redstone, and Obsidian Dust, which I don't see in here. Um, Basals, Redstone. And obsidian dust. Okay. Make sure they can go quick. Yeah, okay. So then we turn up these numbers a little bit. Let's do a half a stack. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And I think we can use these for the nether quartz as well. Yeah, this will do. Okay, so now we configure the rest of them. We are getting a decent amount very quickly. Uh, we're probably going to need more. And we can do that by that. We are out of radon. Out of radon, you say? Yeah, we need that for the eyes of Ender and the quantum stars. Okay. Um, uh, well, duranium. That, that does lead to a previous question that I had. I didn't ask, but I had it. Um, mm -hmm. Is tier two micro miner radium salt? Um, yep, I good work. I don't think I set that one up because I wasn't sure if we needed it because we had plenty of radon. So yeah, we are, we're getting radon from distilling Ender air, but collecting and freezing the Ender air is just not okay. Fast. Okay. Plus, we need two hundred thousand or two hundred buckets of it. Before Got the it. distillery runs, so. Uh, do you want to set up an electrolyzer to electrolyze out the radium salt, and that can do the recipe for the microwave? Sure. All right. Done. Oh, okay.
Uh, can you look at that tier two and see if there's anything else in there besides the radium salt that we care about? Tongue state, she light, etc. There is not. Okay. Tungsten and she light we get from the tier something else is also plus we can just slap a drill in the end, which is how we've been getting most of our tungsten. Okie dokie. Oh, yeah. Ah. Uh, Go ahead and request a few thousand. See how it goes. A few thousand? Do we have the phosphorus for this? Uh. For the manganese phosphide wire, I think they take? Uh. Don't worry about it. Okay. Because uh, if, if we don't have the phosphorus, it should request the correct microminer to get some. Alright, let's see what happens. I see uh, three of the micro miners already cooking away. Ah, fell through the hole. Uh, death. Okay, so all of these are currently working quite well. Uh, let's get the rest of it going. So this one is the blazer out of the blocks, etc, etc. Um, so we need uh, doot 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 and ba da ba da 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 and da I will do eight oh, here. I see, the radium salt is not an ore. It doesn't go into the line. Ah, no, it does not. It needs to go into yeah. wherever you're doing the thing. I just set up a filter for it to catch as it came through, but oh, that works. Ah. Okay, uh, did it, Perhaps not fast enough. We will see. Eh. Maybe, maybe a little faster. Okay. So what we've got is we've got you. Are you over in the machine room? Uh, yeah, I'm on the lower floor. Ah. Uh, any chance you could add the empty shape plate metal bending recipe if we have fours anywhere? If not, that's... Uh... We do not have any fours anywhere. Okay, that's... Yeah, all we all we got is uh we got ones and twos. Oh, 
ultimate voltage. Okay, so now uh, we can push. Yes. Yes. Push. 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 All right, so aside from the throughput on the items, we're doing pretty good. Um, it'll it'll take it'll take a little bit. I could jump these up to a higher quantity. Yeah, it chunks a little bit as it tries to refill the stacks. But then it goes up just fine. So if we move this up to a full 64, it should be able to handle that pretty quick. Until it runs out. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Uncause that problem for the moment. Um, so we need crafting card for at least this one because it needs to be able to request up the block of luminescence. The rest of these should be fine. Uh, I need to update the numbers on some of these. And I might bump these up to 64 as well, but I think they're handling the speed just fine. Enriched Naquita Trinium European Duranide. Nope. Ingots. Oh my god. Nope. Just a, just a hard nope. On That's that one. Uh, <clears throat> okay. So, this one. Neat. <laughs> Neat indeed. <laughs> so, this one, this one is the Nether Star Core. Um. So then we need. Uh, I don't think this needs to so be. So, have here. you looked at the item called the ultimate battery before? I've tried not to. Okay. It holds a fair amount of power. Oops. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that one. Fill this to win Minecraft. Yeah, I remember that number. Mm hmm. Yeah. It's a big number. We have to fill that and make the NAND certificate. <laughs> Wait, do we have to actually fill it? No. Oh god. Oh thank god. <laughs> no, that's just that's a max 63, 64 bit. Well, two to the 64 minus one, right? Integer. Right. I just thought they might make us fill it before we could use it to craft with. God, I don't <laughs> even know how long that would take. Uh, yeah, no idea. A long of time. Years. Yeah. Okay, okay, uh, so I should be able to just set these to pull. That wasn't the button I meant to do. I should be able to set these to pull and just do it. And this should just be getting items as soon as I remember to turn it on to insert. And you pull. Eh, you don't even need to pull. You can just be an insert. So now you are chonking through nether stars like crazy. And those can go there, and then you can be a push. Alright, the slowness behind this, I believe, is pulling out of these things. 
So we need more speed. Let's do some. Or another star problem. Have you? Indeed. Or at least I have solved the majority of it. The crafting part. Okay. Because the crafting part has been uh, incredibly slow to chew through when it's requested through the network. Did you sneakily make a creative tank? <laughs> I did not. But okay. if you come take a peek in the uh, lower floor of the uh, machine room. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hi. <laughs> uh, so I made a little uh, a little crafting do set up. Yeah. And it uh, it makes lots of nether stars. I Great. just need to slap this on the network. Excellent. And we've got the oh yeah your aluminum should auto request. Okay. Yeah. The only thing I'm not clear on. Uh, is why we're not getting any luminescence whatsoever. It's just been stuck at six for a while now. And I haven't gone down to look at that yet. I'll take a peek. It's because phosphoric acid isn't being made. But there's no... But why? There's no phosphorus. But why? What do you mean, why? There's There's a lot of phosphorus. There's, at the very least, there's 275 phosphorus in the network right now. Oh, then I don't know. I don't know how your okay, system works. I'll go look at it. I, I know I, I messed something up, but I don't know what I messed up. Uh, let's see. Is this button can go here? Uh, go... Now we have a bunch of other stars in the network. And we also that have a bunch the, of parts uh, being created. Bugged out interface thing again. Son of a bitch. At some point, we're going to run out. We're going to have to rebuild our interfaces. No, at some point, we're going to have to turn off most of these machines because we'll have the tank for them. Yeah. That, that might be our, our driving factor to get the tank. Because shit's going to stop working. Because <laughs> our ME network's going to conk out. It's too big, yeah. Yeah. We're we're getting there. So you you fix this thing again? Okay, good. Yeah, I just moved it over a slot. All right. I wonder if like a server restart fixes the busted. Maybe. Things I don't know. But... Maybe. Uh, so yeah, this is set up to automatically request a micro miner to dive into the microverse to pick up more sulfur as soon as it runs out. Right. Um, but apparently that wasn't working. <laughs> okay, so we now have a couple thousand nether stars, and as long as we get um, phosphorus, we can get more nether stars. Great. Um, never did solve the problem of my missing uh, tier 7 microminer. Uh, are they sitting in the... They are interface now. No, this is this is the issue where the interface is set to request the microminers to be crafted, and it's just not happening for unknown reasons. All the other microminers are requesting just fine, like the tier five that was all stopped up because of that assembler. That was one that it automatically requested. So yeah, it could be another slot issue.
I wonder if you put something in that slot, if it'll mm. clear it out. Didn't seem to. No. But yeah, I, I can I can request them manually. They do craft. It's just it's not doing the thing to make them available to make it easier and faster to request stuff. Okay. Um. So the tier eight. Um. Eight more octos mangit. <laughs> I forgot about the content tweaker shit. The eight more octos mangit and the sixteen more hexadecus yeah, mangit. <laughs> And the half stack is more dry. Just moved it to where the eight was. Sure. And weirdly, when I removed the eight, it started making an eight. Uh, why is this a thing? Hold up, why is this a thing? Um, out, of, out of curiosity, have you looked at the recipe to make methane? It's a smingit? Yeah. <laughs> more smingit? Yeah, I've, I've seen that. Specifically the stack of s'more smingit? Yeah. It gets bigger, yeah. You get, there's one that makes one million... Oh yeah, no, that's the one I'm looking at. Oh yeah. Because yeah, I was yeah. looking at the smingit, and I uh, got up to the stack of s'more smingit, and it makes a million methane per. Yeah, it's, it's huge. Like, what's the purpose to that? I think it's just a... Like a curiosity kind of a thing okay. that it exists. It it certainly is that, yes. Yeah. You can you can thank Content Tweaker for that. Yep. If we gotta put something in. But have you looked at what it takes to make a single just a s'more? I haven't actually. That's, uh... making, making the whole sm Die Dodeca s'more sming at whatever the big one would be a shit ton of work. Alright, hang on. Let's take a look at s'more. So we need a graham cracker, which requires flour, which requires ground up wheat. Sure, no problem. Um, we need milk chocolate, which requires molten milk chocolate, which requires milk and molten dark chocolate, which requires molten sugar and molten unsweetened chocolate, which is cocoa liquor and cocoa butter. Dear, my God. Okay. I know. <laughs> uh, and then marshmallow is liquid marshmallow, which is hydrated gelatin and molten sugar. Gelatin, which is gelatin, uh, which is gelatin, which is collagen from mincemeat, which you had done earlier. Yep. Oh god. Yup. <laughs> oh dear god. Why? Why? For <laughs> just us some more. It's... No. For for the potential to make infinite methane. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Like I don't I don't understand. I mean we're not even really using methane. No, not really. But it's still just a ton of work to make a single s'more. It is, and then you need to make 64, or not 64, you need to make uh, a lot. <laughs> Just a lot. Is it 64 total to make the stack? I think, I think it is. It might be. And then you can burn those in the culinary gener for a whopping 330R of a tick. I, I don't know, meme man. I, uh, you're probably referencing a song, but my brain for song is not happening. Uh, where'd my tier 8 go? It's in my hand. Oh, okay. Well, 
It sort of is in my hand, but... I was, I was confused because I was watching that craft happen and all of a sudden it just wasn't there anymore. Yeah, my bad. Because I thought I was going to trigger the quest, but then couldn't. But now I can. Uh, me man, I'm sorry, but lunch detention is the best place to play Pokemon on my Game Boy, so... Joke's on you. Nice. There. Nice. I forgot what I wanted that for. Oh, right, chaos. Yes, chaos. How um, many eights have you sent in now? Uh, that's literally the first one we've made. Oh. Yeah. I thought we. Oh. No. <laughs> no, we are not. Remember, remember when I said this was going to take us dozens of hours to get to that creative tank? Yeah, that was me working for like half the night on making eights. In, inter intermix between other crap. That that ZPM field generator that we that we took half the night to be able to build up to. Yeah, that was that was that was the eight. How many eights do we need? Twenty two, but now they're automated, so technically correct. Should be fine. So creative tank on Thursday. Uh sure. <laughs> Well, we need a tier th three reactor first, which will be my one of my projects on Thursday. Hmm. Mm. Um. Did you automate the Nakuda alloy, by the way? Yep. Hmm. We have one. Yep. Okay. Because we have no trinium dust. For most of the night, the mm. tier fives were broken because of that one mach assembly machine. Right. Uh, do we need to request more tier fives going? Yeah, but we don't have the prescient crystals for that, apparently. Hmm. Yeah, it's because I'm grinding them all up in dust for the Naquita, the Naquadria. Yep. All right, well, good time to stop for the night because we got a whole lot of uh, materials we got to wait for. That's got to back up a little bit. It is, yeah. Yeah. Good time as any to stop for the night. So we're gonna we're gonna get some more trinium. We're gonna get some more pressure and crystals. We're gonna get backup of all of our crap, and we're gonna run as many tier eights as we can in the next couple days, um, and see how far we can get. Yeah. Cause uh, cause yeah. But we did. We still did stuff tonight. You you finished setting up your uh, assembly line. It's true. Those are all running. Yeah. Those are all good to go. The assembly line is all good to go, and I finished up my uh, draconic infusion doodad. And you did a uh, tier two fusion reactor. Yeah. We did various other automations and new alloys and whatnot. Yep. And then the the ball. And the ball, yes, the ball. Ball was built and filled. Ball was built and filled, and that happened fairly quickly. Like that was probably the easiest part of the night. Oh, certainly. <laughs> Wait, we need one final little touch on it. Oh. Do you have a small ball for the big ball? No. Oh, okay. I like that whatever you're attempting to do is obscured by the clouds. Oh, okay. I see what you're doing. Didn't work. It didn't work. Uh. Lame. <laughs> uh, hang on. Oh yeah, it doesn't need a. Yeah, it needs a. A base. It needs a base of diamond. Here it would just kick on on its own. No. Okay, hold on. Uh, if you replace the topmost layer of bricks here, the three by three under here, and yeah. drop that down a layer. St 
stolen. I think just uh, diamond blocks will do it. I mean, I had placed it on a diamond block. I just figured one would have been good enough. Oh, to... yeah. Oh, you stole it. Stolen. Yay, it still doesn't work. Uh, oh, there it goes. There it goes. Bring home the bacon. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Now it's like it's beaming the energy down. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got a proper, a proper bacon. Yeah. There we go, screenshots. It is a, uh, it is next to impossible to get our entire base in a screenshot with having any yeah. of it recognizable. Right. Because I'm I'm up here right now, and I am just now getting all of our base in frame. Like this is this is nuts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're spread out. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still disappointed about my wireless antenna. Those are, those are those are perfect. And still decorative, but still. Yeah, look at that. Ooh. Yeah. Hang on. Little, little screenshot. I'm gonna have to plug those holes though. Eh, yeah, it'll, it'll happen. Ooh, and the moon in the background. Nice, perfect. Yeah, the small moon from this side. Ah, like the big moon on the other side. Yeah, but this way it's like you're right here. You're piercing the moon. Stabbed. Well, yeah, yeah, we, we did we did good tonight. Yeah. I, um, I I burned I successfully burned through all of our uh, all of our phosphorus. And now we got to get more. But hopefully that'll happen while we're waiting. Wait, I wonder if I can do a do a thing quick. I wonder if I can do anything with these blocks. Uh, I want this. Huh? Hold. I'm holding. Hopefully this works the way I. Uh, hope it does. Oh, they don't glow when you chop them. Dumb. Oh, boo. Boo. I mean, they they have a they have a little bit of, I guess, reflectiveness to them almost. They at least look like they're kind of sort of lit. Yeah, but not like these. Not like those. <laughs> no, definitely not. Yeah, so I just took those and chopped them, but they don't. Retain the glowy. No, that is unfortunate. Garbage game. Uninstall. <laughs> mod sucks. <laughs> Maybe that particular mod sucks. Maybe we just need a different one. Which one Actually. is that one anyway? That's Architecture Craft? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Okay. So we've we've done the Minecraft in for tonight. Um, I don't. We've already covered all the stuff we did. There's still more that we need to do. Um, we need lots more micro miners. We're gonna run as many as we can in the off time, as I said. Um, we're we're now to the point where we are caring less and less about doing stuff on stream. As you saw by the fact that he set up all of all of all of these, and I set up basically all of this. Off stream, um, there's only there's only so much time we have in our lives anymore, and uh, this pack is starting to beat us down. So, yeah, yeah. Well, that's all I got for tonight. Uh, tomorrow, I don't have. I do have plans. Tomorrow's uh, probably grounded. We're probably finally back into that. Uh, now that everyone's back and whatever, we'll see. If not, I'll have other things to play. Ahem. Indeed. Indeed, Sparkle. Indeed. But yes. Sparkle. Midnight.
<laughs> I swear to God, if I have to stay big tomorrow. <laughs> yes, hydration. Yep. Sparkle, Midnight, Meme Man, Kinder. Anyone else who is still lurking out there, I appreciate y'all being there. And, uh, yeah, we're getting tiny tomorrow, so I'll see you then. Bye.